Rumble! There's only one move for it. Sex pin! Sex pin! Sex pin! The sex pin did it! When you come to this screen, if you press space, it'll actually let you continue and it'll take you to the next screen. It's a nine. 69! Is that your horse, by the way? Kobe. Did that actually hit? <gasps> Pet the Cody. I love Cody. Hey, um, Cool Taff says, stay cool, San Diego. You haven't been, uh, you haven't been to Poundland in a while, have you, Phoebe? <laughs> and that makes your reply even better. Yeah, your impudence will be your undoings. My impotence will be my undoing. What's that rogue? You want to know who's Fieldy? Fieldy's nuts on my face. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember my viewers' names. They're not important. The only person that's important my stream is this guy. The first thing they do is, yes, yes, yes. Your horse has a name? And then I did that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that YouTube video. This is the outro to it. This, this, and they, they've turned into the, oh my God, oh my God. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! This is all changed! This is all changed! Is that from Poundland? No, she's from Scotland. <laughs> Pop that off. Uh, do you know what I've got in my head? Do you know what I've got in my head? Cause every day's the same when I'm carrying your love with me. I'm carrying your love with me. That, if you've not seen that on TikTok, well done. And the hair's not purple. I've let you down. I've let you down again. I've let you down. I've let you down. And basically just ended up way busier because I had swimming with Jack today and I forgot how basically he was meant to nap for like one till about three he normally naps so sometime about half one to three instead he ended up going down about one and was up by half past so there just wasn't time for us to do it um might be able to do it tomorrow but i need to work out is is that benjo No, I th there's someone called Mori Me Harder Sexy playing Dead by Daylight on my friends list. Oh, is that, is that Janine? 
Is Janine playing? Wait, Benjo's doing. I think Benjo is doing um customs. So is Benjo doing customs? And Janine has named herself Mori Me Harder Sexy. Is she talking to Benjo? Is she talking to Benjo when she says that? Oh, hello there, Cody. May I say, that's a lovely, uh, lovely shirt you're wearing. Janine. Janine. Janine's definitely a Benjo simp, though. I don't mind saying that. I don't mind saying that Janine's definitely a Benjo simp. I'll say it if Janine was here. Janine's a Benjo simp. Am I a Benjo simp? Maybe. That's one of his other mods I don't. <laughs> am I a Benjo simp? I think I am. I think I am. Um, it's okay to be a Benjo simp. Um, I, I'd been reading some stuff uh, recently. Um, fucking. I don't know whether to talk about it. Um, to be honest, I didn't. Do I, do I talk about it? Yeah, fuck it. Um, basically, uh, there was a load of, there's been a load of football news today. One thing that's kind of good is the Man United were looking at signing a guy who um, has been accused of making racist and homophobic remarks, and they've pulled out of it because of that. Well, they've pulled out of it because of the negative reaction about it, and I was like, fucking... Do you know what? At least, at least, fucking, that's done it. At least the negative reaction has, has stopped it. Like, yeah, in the first place, it shouldn't have been done because that should have been flagged up way before then. Um, secondly, though, one of my football heroes, um, a footballer called Ryan Giggs, is probably the best, probably the best Welsh footballer of my generation. Um, was my hero um, is in court today for for being abusive towards his ex and some of the stuff that's come out of that is horrible why can't fucking people be good right anyway that's it that's it um right we are gonna I, I looked up some details of the case because so so for for disclosure Ryan Giggs is one of the greatest Welsh footballers of all time. Um, he was also, until recently, he was actually the Welsh football manager. He's He's been on sabbatical for like a year or so, um, ever since this case came out, where he was accused of physically attacking his ex um, and headbutting her sister as well. Um, so he's been on leave since then because they, they can't really sack him until there's a positive or negative court result. Um, but they've... Uh, I had tickets to go and see him and meet him. Um, and these tickets were bought before all this stuff came out. Didn't know anything about this. Um, it was cancelled twice because of COVID. It was pushed back. Um, and then when this came out, I was like to Rachel, I was like, I don't want to go. He's like my one of my heroes, one of my all-time sporting heroes. I was like, I don't want to go. I was like, I think you should email and see if you can get a refund. So she ended up emailing. She got a refund. Um, that was the end of it for me. As it was, it ended up getting cancelled anyway. Um, but I'm just like fucking... I'm going to stop liking people. Because, like, they just end up being dicks. But... We're fucking playing, we're playing this tonight. Um, gonna stop the old music, put a little bit of music on the background. I always forget to put music on in the background. So rated liking people. I can tell you with this, guys. Stick with the old big taff man. I'll try not, I'll try not to lay you down. I don't guarantee anything. 
because I'm a, I'm a bit of a twat. But I'll do my best. I did a tweet today about yesterday's stream as well. Um, fucking yesterday's stream went really fucking good. I saw the stats afterwards. I was like, bloody hell. How good was the stream going? Like, I don't have the view account on. I struggle with the view account. I, I have issues with seeing, like, if you see the view account go up and then you see it go down and then you see it go up and then you see it go down, I'll start to worry about it. As far as I'm concerned, there's a couple of you in chat chatting. I'm happy. Like, we appreciate our lurkers. 100% appreciate the lurkers. 100% appreciate the lurkers. Love the lurkers. But a couple of people in chat just helps helps this this head, like, stop worrying about it. Because then it, it makes me have someone to chat to, someone to bounce off, someone to talk to. Um, saw the figures afterwards last night. I was like, fucking hell. We were doing all right. And we were just doing crimes. I know I ended the stream on a bit of a downer. And I felt a bit guilty afterwards. Hey, Tove. Felt a bit guilty afterwards. I did end the stream on a bit of a downer. To be honest, I just got annoyed. Um, but that happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tove and Jedi, for entering the TV way. But we're going to play DVD. Does anyone want to do... I'm so sorry, Taff. I'm so sorry. Got a dab. Do you want me to do a pre-stream... A pre-stream bet, which we could do. Who do you think Taft's going to end up dating? Now, I don't know anything about this game. I'm going to answer the way that I think. I don't know if it's a case of you go, you go, oh, I want to I wanna date Wraith, or I want to date Trapper, or I want to date so-and-so, or if you just go through it naturally and then through it. So if it is that you just pick someone, lovely subscription i wonder if they would like to play taff's high or low taff's high or low uh maz if you'd like to play taff's high or low let me know thank you very much two years two years two years i've known all you people all all you sbs lot fucking hell um i hope you, i hope both you and cody saw as well i don't think i can do um I don't think I can do uh, tomorrow. Me and Rachel are going to go bowling. So I don't know if I'll be back in time. If I'm back, I'll let you guys know. Uh, you think when you're sober and you're putting yourself in music videos, I'd still, I'd love to do stuff like that. But I can't get in trouble. I can't get in trouble. Are you allowed to sit, allowing yourself to go back on saves if you feel like you hacked up? Not for the first playthrough. Not for the first playthrough. We're we're doing it. We're doing it straight through first. So shall I do a bet of you can pick who you think I'll end up with? Like, is it Cody, it's not like I say at the start, right, I want to date Trapper and then that's it. Is it like I follow a path? Or is it like that as I do stuff, one of them comes more of an option? Is that does that make sense? That's what I'm asking, kind of. You follow paths. So do I go... If I pick Trapper straight away, is that me on the Trapper path? Because I don't want to put... I don't want to put a bet on if that's... If it's like right at the start of the game, it says, who do you want to date? Wraith, Trapper. So if I put a bet on, is that a good idea or not, Cody? <laughs> is a bet a good idea? Just a gamble. Okay, so we can we can put this in. So I'll put a bet in. Cause I, I'm gonna go with what um what feels right as we do it. So who who will Taff end up with? Trapper, Wraith, Spirit. Huntress, other stroke none. We'll do five minutes. I I put other stroke none because I saw someone, 
uh, I've avoided all spoilers, but I saw someone say, oh, there's a secret path. So I put other or none. I'm I'm gonna give you five minutes, so we'll 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 put some music on. I I think your mind was swayed a lot when you met the killers. Well, that's what I think. Like, cause cause you know I've always said Wraith is the one for me. Wraith is Wraith is my boy. But then I look at it and Trapper looks like Trapper looks daddy. And then I look at it and I go, the Huntress looks like mommy. I've put the right people in, isn't it? It's spirit. It is spirit, isn't it? But we'll um we'll see how we end up. We we may not end up dating anyone. Got them all. Oh, you've gone with none. You've gone with none. This is gonna be interesting now, seeing how people bet and seeing where things end up. Cody's, uh, has Cody gone with none? Or has Cody thought for other? Maybe, maybe there's a secret ghost face thing and I end up with ghost face. It probably won't be a secret ghost face thing. I can't imagine they can put ghost face tough, in tough, the tough, 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 tough. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Ah, there's a raid! There's a raid! You know what this means? One thing I've noticed is a lot of people get Benjo's name wrong. They call him Bongo, they call him Bango, they call him Binjo. But here I am to teach you today how to say his name properly. Here comes Benjo. A Benjo's, Benjo's raided. raided. Taff, someone's following you. Hey there, no, Benjo. Here. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the raid. raid. Get ready, everyone. B E N J O. Yeah! B E N J O. <laughs> B E N J O. That's how you spell it, guys. B E N J O. He is Benjo. B E N J O. Did you know this? He is Benjo. B E N J O. No one spell his name wrong. He is Benjo. B E N J O. You hold Benjo three times. Hey there, B E N J O. Ready? He, he is, is B, B. Billy Player. He, he is, is I. Entertaining. He, he is N. N. Not as much as time. He, he is J. J. Just a cutie. He, he is O. o. Oh. He is B. Billy Player. He is E. Entertaining. He is N. Not as, as much, much as time. J. Just a cutie. He, he is O. 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 J-O. B-E-N-J-O. What bozo? Hello, everyone. B-E-N-J-O. <laughs> he is Benjo. We're, we're playing Hooked on You. He is Benjo. It's the Dead by Daylight dating simulator. I've got a cup of tea Thank here. Thank you, Benjo. Hope you enjoyed the song. Oh, oh. oh. oh we meant to stop. Oh. Yeah, you meant to stop. That's it. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Benjo song. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, people just came in saying, hello, Bozo, um, Benjo. Um, guys, there's still time if you would like to. There is a channel points bet before we start playing. We haven't started yet. Um, if you would like to bet on who you think I'm going to end up with, you can pick. Uh, I've, uh, Ninvi, you didn't, you didn't tell me that you hold Benjo once. You didn't tell me that you hold Benjo twice. You told me that you hold Benjo three times once twice three times hold banjo uh hello little shunts how are you doing today uh hello new banjo viewers i'm taff i'm uh i'm banjo's favorite streamer Ooh. oh look it's someone new um okay question for you uh what's the weirdest thing that you would like to know more about but are too afraid to look it up What's the weirdest thing you would like to know more about, but are too afraid to look it up? I'd like to know more about Benjo, but 
But I, I'm also too afraid to look up more about Benjo. Because once you start to unveil those secrets, you you don't know you don't know what you don't know what you're gonna find. <laughs> Cody also says Benjo. <laughs> once you start to find that I've I can tell you now, guys, I know more than you. I've had private discussions with Benjo. I've started to take that onion and started to peel it. Oh, and do you know what? There's layers. There's layers of Benjo. But do you know what? I got to that I got to that nut that's in, in the inside. I got to Benjo's nut. <laughs> I got to Benjo's nut. It was in the center of the I got to the seed. The seed of Benjo. Benjo's nut. And and you know what? <laughs> Can we start playing the game yet? As the as the poll finished. As the poll finished. Right, the poll's finished. We can play the we can play the game. But before we play the game, one thing I've noticed is a lot of people get Benjo's name wrong. A lot of people they get call it him wrong. Bongo, they call him Bango, they call him Binjo. Don't call but him here that. Here I am to teach you today how to say his name properly. I just say so I just say it properly. Here comes Benjo. Here comes Benjo. A Benjo's raided. Thank you for the raid, Benjo. Hey there, Benjo. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid, Benjo. B E N J O. B E N J O. B E N J O. B -E -N -J -O. That's how you spell it. B-E-N-J-O -E Oh, not anymore, Ninja Kaden B-E-N-J-O He is Benjo B-E-N-J-O He is Benjo He is Benjo B-E-N-J-O Hi, Chips, calm down He is Benjo B-E-N-J-O Hey there, Benjo no, he, he is, is B. Billy player. He is, he is e. e. Entertaining. He, he is N. N. Not as much as time. He is J. Just a cutie. He, he is, is o. o. He is B. Billy player. Billy, Billy player. He is e. Entertaining. Entertaining. He is N. Not as much as time. J. Just, Just a cutie. cutie. He is o. O. This, this is how you spell it. B E N J O. Ninja Caden. B E N J O. B E N J O. He is Benjo. He is Benjo. He is Bongo. Not Bongo. Hope you enjoy the song. He's Binjo? Oh, we meant to stop. You meant to stop. That's it. Right. Let's get to the game. Let's get to the game. The, people come to this stream for high quality gameplay. If you want to watch someone just mess around, go watch Benjo. Is the game a bit low? Do we need to turn the game up? Uh, no, I read that earlier, Alk. I read that earlier. What's Link account? Oh, I get things for Dead by Daylight. No, I... You guys know that I always read the thing. I always read the thing. Uh, right. I think we need to... Maybe for the... Is that too loud now? You're gonna lurk and cook? What are you, what are you cooking tonight, Benjo? Too loud? Is that better?
That's okay now, right? If I talk while I'm doing that. General so tofu. Wow, that's very nice. Um, how did uh, how did you get your hands on that? Before you get started, what should we call you? Shall I be Taff or shall I be Benjo? I'll be I'll be Taff. Although we do know how to spell Benjo if we did need to spell, uh, if we did need to spell Benjo, not being Taff. We'll be Taff. We'll be Taff. Maybe if we play this, I don't know how long it takes to play. Maybe if we do a second playthrough. We'll play it as Benjo, and I'll do. I'll play it as if I was Benjo, because I can get into that mindset quite easily. I mean, I feel like me and Benjo have been so close before. I feel like I've got inside his brain. I I actually feel like I've been inside Benjo. Um, oh, <coughs> you wake up on a beach, soaking wet, salt water sting on the inside of your throat, as if you nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from, or a single fact about your life. What you do know is, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> wow, really went down the wrong piper. Huh? You need a minute, or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Endless time, really. An eternity, if you catch my drift. Wow, not now, Ocean. Sorry, Taff, may I continue? Ah, uh, please, go on. That's, that's me. I have to do my vo- Wait, what do I sound like? I'm Welsh. Oh, please go on. Okay, then. As I was- <coughs> As I was saying, you look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. A decomposing face stares up at you from the sand. All you can do is vomit. A stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, another ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Uh, I'm not going to dig up a face. I think I'm going to run. You r turn away from this wretched sight and begin to run. But the beach, it's endless. Despite how far you run, you get nowhere. Exhausted, you stop and look behind you. Your footsteps are raised by soft blue waves. You turn inland. Considering your lack of options, you've got no choice but to walk into the brush. However, the beauty of the beach is not shared by the darkness of the palmy woods before you. There's nothing inviting about that shadowy forest. Terror freezes you in your steps. What does water sound like? What does water sound like? Why are you trying to run? This is a paradise. You're here to enjoy yourself, don't you know? Have a bit of fun. Take charge of your own experience. Well, that sure was weird, that voice again. Do oceans normally talk? Your memory isn't right, but you're sure you remember learning as a child that oceans do not speak directly to people in spooky terms. Read those lines with tea in your mouth. It sounds like Jesse McAvoy doing a Dracula impression. Uh, your mind doesn't have a chance to linger anymore as you feel something soft bump into your foot. It's a volleyball. Oh, I just, I just skipped that. You saw, see a, a volleyball. You stare down frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. Right. Russian wife. Little, little help, please. Russian. Um, it's, it's like, uh. Hello, it's my wife. Little help, please. You turn around, and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw hits the ground. Can't get the banjo song out of my head. Why are they all? Why are they all, Daddy? Get there through Borat. Pff. 
four gorgeous monsters stand between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Each of them oozes with undead energy, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed, let's call them killers. I don't know, not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you are completely paralyzed. Trapper. What does trapper sound like? What does trapper sound like? Where's Trapper from? Trapper DBD. Um, he's American. You've always imagined him as Scottish? He's Scottish now, Tove. Thank you. Hello? There are weird days and then this is this. All you can look do all you can do is look down at the ball and back up to this monstrous lineup of well literal monsters. Sexy ass monsters. What do you do? Oh, we toss it back. You don't kick it, it's a volleyball. Thank you for the lurk, Rook. We toss it back. You bend down and grab the ball, it's warm for sitting in the sand. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in the huntress's hands. Russian, Russian. Now I have. Not bad, stranger. Andres's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. You look it up and down and consider what it might be like to help be held strong, tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Hello. Oh, spit it. What would? Try hard, match. <laughs> yeah. They're speaking directly to you, but you can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize everyone's gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? You want stereotypical anime girl for spirit. I did refer to them as killers not to give too much away, but at the same time, they're looking very appealing in their own way. And nobody so much has lifted a blood-soaked finger in their direction. Spirit sounds like Pink and Phoebe on a bad day. Don't be scared, Taff. You were made for this. Well, geez. If this spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. But no good reason to. You let you decide to literally head over and see what happens next. I'll be honest, guys. I'm going to miss words out sometimes and read things wrong. You're going to have to deal with that. Seems you derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best to go with what Trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who seems to have fresh blood on their hands. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. It's all a game. Existence, that is. My wife. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more distract than my total domination? <sighs> that was Ray. The sign means he was done with the game too. Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. Look. I didn't care why this slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? What? Oh, well. You know you can't. At least not yet. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Hey, Taff, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There'll be plenty of time for some that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. Be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a time quiz. Okay, I might have to answer quicker than I can read stuff out. It'll be important later, very important. Or not important in any way. Probably that one. I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? Not very, not at all. 
I've never thought I've wait I have my voice Welsh I've no I've Welsh 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 I've never I've what do I sound like? Welsh I've never thought of myself as attractive <laughs> is that what I sound like Whoa, watch it. That's be bullshit. You're beautiful. You hear me? If you could have any superpower. Uh, wait, what's Wraith sound like? Uh, what's Wraith sound like? Uh, if, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, invisibility. Just like Wraith. Uh, it's award winning voice acting. Uh, you, you might notice, Phoebe, if you wait for Hemtress to say something again yet, yeah, uh, you might notice a little pause at the start of every Hemtress bit of speech where I have to remind myself that it's the Borat voice. Wait, what do I sound like again? Ooh, invisibility? Uh, same. Though sometimes I think I already am. Uh, what was your best subject at school? Uh, it was history. It was actually history. It was actually probably maths. Wait, Welsh. Ooh, history bach. Nice. It's important to know what came before so we're not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyway, but still. <laughs> Shit. My wife. What's your favorite animal? A dog. Oh, a dog. My wife. You look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. Uh, dude, what's your favorite color? Uh, purple, purple, shit, blood red. I, uh, some call it the color of love, but love's just another word for pain. Uh, what's your dream job? Uh, not working at all. Not working at all, because that's my job! That's my job, bitches! <laughs> if we get to do what we really want, why work at all? Is that what I sound like? Am I... Am I doing... Am I making my own voice racist? Uh, it takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations to climb the ladder. Only she could spin laziness into some kind of grand crusade. These damn millennials. Best flavor of ice cream. Uh, flavor's got a U in it. Flavor's got a U in it. Ready? Uh, vanilla. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, again, Taff has gone vanilla. Yeah, but Alk said to do him Scottish. Alk said to, Alk said to do him Scottish. Do you want me to do him American? We could do him Texan. Texan. Think about it. Before you do it, before you do it, close your eyes. Imagine a Texan person. My favorite color is pink. Is that what he sounds like now? Bob. My favorite color is pink. Uh, same. Uh, same here. Man's vanilla swirled with pain. I think milk, mint chip is the greatest flavor I ever conceived myself, but enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a sec, this reminds me. I'm right, always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. 
We're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Hello, cat. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Mint chip. Mint chip. The best flavors. Right. Uh, Taff, what do I sound like? Welsh. Ooh, the best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're going to do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants to start getting to know them. American. Close your eyes, visualize, visualize, then open your eyes and start talking. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, the richest, the strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Uh, hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like anyone else. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time. But the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering. A society is a carefully calculated delight to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose just not to take part. Jeez, it's like she was downright murdered by society she hates it so much. Oh wait, I'm remembered in spirit story now. And that's almost exactly what happens. I think they could have chosen better language here. Um. Hey, I'm a huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island. Along with lots of love. Yeah, it is, if you know what I mean. Uh, grow up. Grow a body. Uh, I've explained this a million times. I'm not dead, but I'm not a little ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice! You love it. Only sometimes! Eh, really? That's disgusting. That's why she... That's why she likes it. So the timeline where Sasha Bara Cohen sees Chaff? Why? Uh, don't speak for me. I also hate it. Uh, stop, stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time ever, I agree with Raid. Let's move on whilst I do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's do something else instead, partner. For once, I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's the massive boat dock nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Sorry, I was trying to do the pose that he's doing. Is it like like this? Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. No. I just hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flown in need to see. The cruelty it endears. How about hanging by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Eh? Hey, what about a volleyball game? We can exercise and have fun as a group. Uh, are you serious? There's perfectly good lounge to chill out right there. I'm tired. And besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do we want to go? Right. I actually think... Is that... Is that the lounge? I think I want to play volleyball. 
If I was there, I'd probably be up for. A, I'd, I'd, I'd want to play volleyball. I guess that's having a drink. That's lounge pool. That's pool. I think volleyball. I hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Uh, my wife. Yeah. I love to play outdoors. I also love to be to new people. I also love to bring them home to play. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are too serious. They ruin everything. Well, they do if you don't handle them swiftly. Claudette? Hold on. Wait, Claudette's voice. Oh, fuck. Oh. Hold on. Dwight's voice. Dwight's voice. For just one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. Those are the cooks, waiters, bar bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help remaining on the island. The place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatical mu musical flourish. None of the others survived. Ahem, survived the interview process, I mean. Hence, we shall have, therefore, refer to them as survivors with a capital S. These two worked here for a long time. So long. I actually don't know how long it's been. Ooh, we've got a subscription. Thank you, Ruby. Ruby, if you would also like to play Taft's High or Low, let me know. Uh, I should let Dwight and Claudette do their jobs. They look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that's starting to give me the creeps. We did now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. I'm trying to do like a Revenge of the Nerds voice. Like a nerd voice. That's what I'm trying to do, but I'm worried that it's offensive. If any of my voices are offensive, someone let me know. This is just meant to be a nerd voice. However, in the future, we do recommend waiting for us to present you with your options wherever possible and don't run off to uh, various activities unsupervised. We don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our jobs. The most you can do is help us get off this island. Dwight! Uh, yes, pardon me. Please, follow us. It's meant to be like that he's... He's spitting when he talks. But I don't know. Maybe I stopped doing that. Hey, narrator. Yes, something I can help you with. Those two, Claudette and Dwight. Did they start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. Oh, right, that. Yes, it's true. But he went, he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway. A few miles south here. It's much, much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive. All the celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't have the charm of this island, though. You wouldn't want to go there. All that money comes with a lot of restrictions. Here is where you belong. Now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter, mostly, when I agree with them. Not like on that other island. So what will it be? Volleyball. Wow, it's so exciting to have someone else into athletics on the island. Spirit and Wraith are so boring and Trapper is so predictable, relying on brute strength to win games. He has no respect at all for grace and skill. Thank goodness he didn't choose the yacht. What kind of person wants to be a sitting duck in the middle of an open ocean? You're just asking for a sneak attack from an elk. Look at that bicep. Look at that bicep. Wondered how long it would take for her to bring up an elk attack. Game starting again. Make sure you're watching class. She's really something, huh? Elk don't swim. Ruby, what do you think of my my Welsh voice for myself? I'm trying to I'm trying to make put a Welsh voice on for when my character speaks. Live in the forest for long enough and you'll see an elk swim, believe you me. Cheer for me, cute stuff. The killers remove their place and resume the match they were playing before you arrive. 
Ah, hey, fancy a lemonade? I see you working up a Thursday in those bouncing buns playing volleyball. Called out hands you your lemonade. So fresh, so tart. She leans in and whispers in her ear. Who would you bet on to win? Who's the MVP of your little heart? You're nervous. You don't want any of the colors to hear you talking about them. Or not talking about them, if they're into that sort of thing. Just pick someone, please. Um, this is not like we've got all day, night, week, month, year, lifetime, eternity, or anything. Who puts his hand in that guy's shorts? Jeez. Okay. I think I'm... Um... Well, I don't think it's, it's not either of these two. Like, um, I kind of want to say Trapper. Trapper's a big boy. But then I'm thinking Huntress has obviously got the precision. There's no way it's spirit or race. The obvious answer is to go Huntress. Because it feels like we're going down a Huntress path then. But like, I, it, Trap is such a big boy that it feels like... It doesn't have the maneuverability, does he? But then Huntress can't... Trap... Trapper can't, uh, Huntress can't, like, throw axes at it, but she, she's hitting it. She's probably hit, it's probably Huntress, isn't it? Would Trapper kill you for not saying Trapper? I think it's Huntress. Trapper's a big boy, but I feel like Huntress has got the precision. Trapper's just going to swing. I think it's Huntress. Huntress? Oh shoot, Huntress over here, dude. Oh. You got your eye on me! <laughs> I just... <laughs> they're, they're a bit close right now. <laughs> they're, they're a bit close, mommy. I'm flat. I'm flattered you think I'm good, but I, honestly, I'm a little bit annoyed. I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually, I'm so sneaky, you can barely see me at all. Uh, Huntress is totally kicking my butt. Correct answer. I'm allowed to support the other people on this island, right? Oh, jeez. I have no idea what the rules are here. Are they even rules? I should have stayed in my secret la Larry. La my secret Larry. Wow. What a game. It's a tie. Can there even be a tie in volleyball? No one knows since this is everybody's first time playing. These colors don't usually have time for team sports when they're busy schedule brutally tearing survivors to shreds. Hey, is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just shedding a tear for her lost fellow survivors. You know, this resort had four employees when it opened. It's nothing. I'm completely fine. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, look, the colors are dispersed and cooling down in their own way. Spirit's reading a novel. Trap is is stretching essentially in between chainsaw curls. Why has Trapper got a chainsaw? Wraith is standing on the beach desperately hoping the sand will swallow him up and Huntress is doing some target practice with a bloody hatchet. You feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you expectantly. You should make a move. Life's too short. You should get snuffed out any of these days. Copy DM, copy PM, copy now and just go ahead, chat one of them up. So which colour has caught your eye? Well, obviously. Obviously, right now, Huntress has caught my eye. But. Do we do we take a little swerve here? Trapper was Trapper doing some stretches. See, I think if though if if someone's just standing on a beach, someone's reading a book. I'm not going to go and speak to him. Wraith is just reading a book. Wraith is just standing there. He's not doing anything. Spirit's reading a book. We're not going to talk to them. Now the problem is, 
Trapper's just doing stretches right and curling chainsaws. Em just sounds like she's doing the most fun thing. Like, I feel like I would go... I would be leaning towards going to speak to the Huntress now. I, do, I, I feel like I'm going very Huntress-centric, though. You head over to Huntress. After all. Sorry, there's something very confusing on my phone. Uh, this sporty hanger thing was her idea. Might as well see how she's doing. You were really great out there. Where'd you learn to move like that? His miss, my miss, these miss, they're nothing. And just blushes a bit from beneath her mask. It's cute on cute if you ask me. Sometimes you've got to look past some blood stains. A lot of men have run for their lives in my presence. You really learn a lot about what the human body is capable of in those type of scenarios. I love to exercise. In a way, we're all running for our lives when we keep in shape. I guess I've never thought of the fitness that way. Is that me? Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? That's got to be what I sound like, right? Maybe it's time to start. You never know who is coming for you through the brush as fast as they can, propelled forward by hunger, desperation, or just plain boredom. Doesn't seem like boredom's going to be your problem, surrounded by all of these characters. Survival, on the other hand. You're going to need to compensate for your lack of killer instinct. What's your style? Uh, imagination. What I lack in fitness, I try to make up for in imagination. I like to make up little games for myself to play. My imagination is very vivid. I can imagine the two of us panting, sweating, our clothes torn. I'm with you. Our hands gripping the sheer face of a cliff's rock wall as we climb. Not exactly where I was going, but sure. Up to a cavern entrance, a dark slick cave, a dark cave, slick with dew, shimmering in the moonlight. I'm back with you. A pack of wolves waits there. Friends, enemies, dinner. We look into each other's eyes and back at the wolves and together we all howl. Howl. Sure sounds exciting. My blood is pumping just thinking about it. Come on, everybody. The fun and games can't be over already. I get it. I get it. Volleyball, not ruthless enough. Look at us. We crave action. We crave excitement. We crave the hell thrill of the hunt. It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. I saw you surveying me like prey on the volleyball court, Taff. I just waves a bloody axe in the air and you step back nervously before she realized... She's not waving it at you. She's handing it to you. Don't worry. I've got several of these. It's important to hone your skills, especially when you're in a new place where threats may lurk around every corner. Just need to make sure you're the biggest threat of all. Don't aim those things at me. <laughs> you can't even see me. Oh, 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 oh. Mini games consist of two parts. A pointer that rotates in a clockwise direction. And a target. Skill checks. Oh, no. Ready to play, or would you like me to repeat that? I'm ready. Away we go. Show them what you got. Perfect. Oh, shit. Perfect. You missed completely. I didn't realize you can let it go round. A 
I am impressed. A worthy opponent. I mean, I could have done better, but who's keeping score? For the record, I am, and you got six points. American. Hatchet throwing? Cool, I guess. I like my stabbing to be a bit more up close and personal. Someone had loud horn blows and the survivors snap into action. The time's up! You heard him. Get to the next activity. Uh, it's, um, DBD just did it as a special. But I, I have to play this before, before Pink does. Seems like the next activity is meal time. How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You ride at the cookout to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered round. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a large banquet table? They say it's some prestigious fancy epic like we find on cable. Dwight and Ash called out Ashley to your seat, but there's limited seating around you. And it seems everyone wants to sit next to you. Even bad is they don't want to sit next to certain other people earlier. No one wants to sit next to Trapper. Trapper won't... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Do we need to write this down? Where's my pen? We'll write it in chat. No one... No one next to Trapper. Trapper not next to Ray or Trickster. Wait, where'd Trickster come from? Wait. Oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise? Well, they don't call him that. Expectedster? I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds. My whole shtick gets a bit flustered. Hey there. You're looking good, Taff. Real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trap. No. Huntress. And Trapper. Okay. Their arms are too big, they can't fit at the table. We can't fit everyone on screen. Every area you think you see is a choice. Claudette and... Okay, you sit on one side. Henderson Trap can sit at the ends. Okay. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Uh, hey, uh, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's me. Seasoned with a specific number of herbs and spices that we can't divulge. My favorite. Meat is good. Meat is murder. Which you know, considering what you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? Uh, I'm just sharing facts, and you need to murder something to eat this meat, so that's, like, uh, technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping. Let's eat. Hey, Taff, you think of what I'm thinking? It's going to be a personal that spit, or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen that many pigs wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know. When you look closely at the print, at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between layers on you. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? Uh, this took 12 hours. And we do literally everything on this island. Actually, there's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Well, he's right for a change, because I am, with my broad axe, it's the perfect tool for easily chopping everything in twain. First, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. 
Secondly, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. <clears throat> you two and your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obs. The hell it is. Okay, I'll show you my both my katana. I'll send you to actual hell if you'd like. Uh, please. Yep. Surfer dude. Surfer dude. Uh, please stop. Please. I hate when we fight or talk or even when we look at each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of a Zaraf. Great. Instead of slicing, you can climb it to a second death. Taff, I know this isn't one you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve it Felix. I mean dinner. Wait, it's Felix? Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyperball. They once argued who had the most effective weapons for 72 hours. Doesn't matter which one they do it. When they're done, they'll take even longer cleaning their weapon. All while explaining the value in them maintaining their tools. Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason, they're always afraid of tanks. Hey, why don't you let me just carve up dinner? This is a blended idea. We'd, we'd, we'd hate for it to get cold. He hated when it got cold. Here's a machete. Freshly sharpened. Oh. Okay. 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 Did I miss? Did I miss? That was pretty good. I'd like to see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machete the done. Dinner is finally served. For real? The sounds especially coming from the mass kills which they eat. But it involves lifting their mass up and food, shoving food behind them. And nasty. I'm not reading Cody's comment. I can't state this enough. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. See, the only one who seems to be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is hell, right? I mean, cousin mom, we're trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes crazy? Claudette and Dwight are the only ones who've been working asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting the mass. It's only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash stuff through there. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? Uh, the two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Taff. Number two is no number twos. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Um, well, if I'm going to eat anyone's ass then, it's going to be spirits because that is going to be one clean ass. You know, she, she just admits she don't poop no more. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. You may not have noticed, but I'm just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating around in spectral form. Do you see how deep this cut in my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. Between the food and the behavior of this group, this might be the worst meal in history. But even worse is, they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation of why. What do you want to tell them? Uh, I'd probably distract them. What if the poop is coming out in her paws? She's not got nothing to poop. She said she doesn't eat. Wow, you ever... Wow, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, lame, Mr. Direct. Yeah, she's right, Taff. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Didn't you just wash up here on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yeah, you did, poor thing. The, the voices are going all over the place. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal. You've been standing in the sun. But the seagull? 
Uh oh, it just made a lot of good points. I swear! You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me! Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait, you haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Ooh, it's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's one thing you have to do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you. Not unless you follow the right path. Or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you picked at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over again and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? For this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Vague. Mysterious. I gotta give it up to this ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. Sharon Osborne? Someone's taken my beers from my room. How is someone taking your... Wait, are you staying somewhere? How is someone taking your beers from your room? I've just realized. I've just realized. You wake up to find Hendrus holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Oh, you're okay. Sometimes when I try and care for people, they have a way of ending up less alive than when I started. Which would be a total bummer if it happened to you. It's been so long since I had a happy, healthy living person round. I gotta admit, guys, playing dating simulators, I'm doing so much talking. <coughs> Usually, I'm just falling into the same routine and smashing everyone's heads open with a hatchet before I get to know who they are as a person. But you, you're not nearly as scared or too busy riding in pain to see me for me. You feel nervous in her arms. Not just because they're crushing you a little, but because she's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, but I was going to narrate that fact, not say it out loud as a simple word like some creep. Beautiful mask. Be Wait, this is me. Your bunny mask, it's quite gorgeous. Nice recovery, but now you're awake and talking, you've got to keep this up. Did you make it yourself? You're the first person to ever ask me that. Yes, I did. You seem so quick and cool. You could do anything. Own an Etsy store, be a doctor. Why is it you kill people? Can you choose to pursue who are the killers? I think it's like pass rooms. So I think we're, we're ending up a bit huntress based now. And just sighs. You can see memories flicking across her eyes. But she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. It's all... It's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl. So I thought he was right. Even through the mask, you can see Huntress is blushing a bit. Seems like your line of questioning has made her nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much at dinner. Want a snack? Oh, I won the whole bloody meal, Huntress. I won the whole bloody meal. She offers you some jerky. <laughs> I'll take a little jerky from you, Hunters. Probably. Oh, oh, sorry. It was. She was. She was offering me jer jerky. Uh, probably human jerky, but the spice game is on point because it smells pretty damn good. Except, while on Murderers Island, you might as well sit eat as the killers do. Plus, you are really hungry, and you can chow down on some jerky essentially, right? I'd love some. After a moment quiet tune on what you choose to believe is not human thigh meat, you decide to be bold and ask another question. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't human. Um, because Huntress is a... Huntress catches things. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Dang, you really need to go in there. You do not play around, Taff. I, um... Huntress takes a moment to think before answering. It's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up with these questions. Kudos to you, Taff. 
there was this one deer that looked at me quite provocatively in a clearing once, but that doesn't count, does it? You hear the faintest giggles bursting out behind Tendris's mask. <laughs> You're so cute, Antress. No, it doesn't count. What's this? You found something in the sand. Huntress reaches down to pick it up. It's a hair clip. Probably left by some girl who was playing on the beach long ago is definitely still alive and not at all dead. Huntress closes the bag of jerky with a hair clip. Seems she's a little mixed up on how this item works. Should you go with the flow or show off your knowledge of advanced human in? Shower. You silly goose. You chuckle before reaching the, the bag of jerky. You take the bag off and collect the lock of her and just say, clipping it back in an attractive soup. Much better. Huntress is happy you taught her something new about human trinkets. She touches the clip of her hair in a shy smile. Just as things are heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps and you spin round, ready to fend off whatever new danger has cropped up. Only to find out it's Dwight and Claudette, clipboards in hands, and they're waving in the air above their heads. It's very important that we stick to the itinerary and attend every event as scheduled. Playing sick for crew appointments but not a part of this evening's activities. That's strictly slotted in for after campfire story time. At this rate, we'll be late. Playing sick? No, I was... No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flirting. Go, 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 go! Once everyone has gathered at Fire Pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not going to blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not going to say who, so don't worry, you, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means we're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share this special spooky nighttime story. Just one story, but story time's my favourite activity. This is a narrative heavy experience. You're telling us that... Yeah. You're telling us that only one person has to share? How shall we decide who? Oh, great. We have to decide as a group. That never goes well. Whoever did this, step up now. I swear I won't be angry. I'll merely chop your head clean off. No fuss, no mess. Voice trembling, you realize this is probably it for you, but you embrace your fate. Sorry, everyone. I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. Uh, been there before. Even though it's taken the pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true. Is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Uh, seriously, has anything happened on schedule even once? Damn it, Donald. If you try to flex that out there, you give it one more time. So help me, I'll snap your head so quick. And then I'll drown you in his blood, Cynthia. First and must back on. You two know I love to hack, slash, and slice. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named any names. Who even knows any names? Not us. Oh, who knows my name? Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Nobody even knows anymore. Call me nobody. We gotta get started on story time, so... Taff, who do you think should go? Uh, damn it, that's a name. Pick someone. Uh, well, do you know what? Right, we're obviously... We're obviously going down quite a huntress... Path right now. But... Wraith said that this was his favourite thing. So I think we're gonna pick Wraith. Choose you, Wraith. Whoa, whoa, this uh, entire... Experience has been carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with catchphrases. You said this was your favorite thing! Did he not say this was his favorite thing? I'm not really one for scary stories. Life's scary enough as it is. You, you literally carry around... A skull and a spine as your little prop. The other killers laugh. Wraith holds up his skull and stares into his cold eyes. If you're looking for something... Sh if you're looking for something you experience in this story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of madness, staring at the soul, 
of death and never returning. Once upon a time, no young man lived at the junkyard. The man was quiet, kept to himself, just wanted to avoid trouble. While the boss dealt with the clients, the young man operated the crusher, turned old cars into cubes of trusted metal. One day before crushing a car, he noticed something. Blood, drip, drip, driven from the trunk. He woke it up and found a frightened stranger bound and gagged. The young man reeled. With so this is actually Wraith's backstory. If you've not, if you've not looked into this, Wraith's backstory. Wraith is one of the few characters that I can say is not as evil. Uh, Wraith worked at a junkyard and would operate the machine that crushed cars. And um, one day he's crushing the cars and he hears a noise and he checks and there's a man in the car. Um, and he goes to confront his boss and it turns out that his boss has been like putting people in the cars that needed to get rid of. So the whole time. I know he's literally just telling the story, but I just want to make clear that this is the actual backstory. This is literally Wraith's backstory. He flee the stranger who ran off to the waiting arms of the boss, the owner of the junkyard. Before his shaken employer could tell him about the stake, the boss took out a knife and slit the stranger's throat. The young man fell to his knees, unable to comprehend what was happening. As he stared at the ground, too shocked to cry, the boss approached him. What did you do? He asked the boss. Did your job for you. What do you mean? That's not my job. My job is to crush the cars. The boss made out a miserable scoff, his face contorted in an evil disdain for the pathetic wretch in front of him. Why do you think we're crushing these cars? To save space? Who do you think my clients are? I, I don't know, mumbled the young man. Yes, you do. Deep down, you know what was happening here. You just didn't want to admit it. Your hands aren't clean. My clients give me the money and I take care of their problems. Eliminate their witnesses. Tie up their loose ends. Or you do. N no. The young man whimpered as the boss put out above him. Yeah, you're nothing more than an executioner. You reaped hundreds of souls. The young man's body swept with soft spasms as he tried to stop crying. It was when the boss started laughing that it happened. Something in the young man changed. He stood up, taller than the boss. A faint glimmer of fear overtook the snarl on the older man's face. The young man's face was empty. Empty as he grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him into the car in the crusher. Empty as he picked up the boss and stuffed him inside. Empty as he slammed the truck down on him. His stupid head, fat head sticking out begging for mercy. Empty as he started the machine, staring at the boss in his sniveling, crying wet face. Empty as he grabbed the boss's head, dug his fingers in further, piercing the skull. Empty as he pulled and pulled. Empty as he heard blood and bone snapping. But when the boss's head still attached to his spine pulled cleanly out of his disgusting sack of a body, he smiled. Ray stares back into the eye sockets of his skull. It doesn't matter how good you are, how innocent, how kind, how full of love you once were. When you look into the eyes of evil, you'll surely go mad. An awkward silence falls on the room. It's a tale. Hey, you said no Shakespeare. I'm fairly sure that's from Romeo and Juliet. Trapper laughs at your callback. Wraith looks down at his feet. I like you, Taff. Here, have a gold coin. It's my love language. Everyone decides to split up. I'm alone by the fire, and all I hear is the ocean lapping. This is nice. True man moment of peace and trap. Tranquility. The last seven seconds because Trickster shows up and he's playing his latest song. Hey baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join you? Doesn't wait for an answer. I know you've been hearing from these guppies all day, but I want to hear from a big fish like me. Something special those in charge of the island don't want you to hear. I'm the ultimate catch on this island. The only lobster in the ocean of sardines. No one else can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come find me, baby. Trixa leaves. You're unsure what to think about his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get any time for yourself to think about them yet. Wraith approaches you. Hey, I'm uh, probably not making a great impression because that's not really my thing. I just know if you got to know me, then I mean, look, like if the others weren't around and I hate the fire pit, I hate fire in general. Maybe we could go back to the pool. And like, I, I know, whatever, you know. I dip in the pool with the rain. 
You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him. An awful like that. Just don't forget our little talk. Ooh. We going... We going for Wraith? It's the perfect temperature. But if Jell Shark comes along and manages to jump in the pool, you're sure your companion can handle it. Uh, hey, do you remember my story? The one you just told a minute ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah? What do you think of the young man in the story? Do you think he's weird? Uh, I'd forgive him. I would forgive him? What happened to him would make anyone snap. And who knows what happened in his past to lead him to that point. He was just trying to be good. Yeah, that's all he wanted. Was to be good. That makes sense. Did the young man remind you of anyone? Uh, yes and no. I think that's what makes it a great story. It's unique and surprising, but relatable and familiar. I think we all know someone like that young man. I think we all have a little of him inside us. Wraith giggles, not in a gross way like you think in, but a very silly one. I assume he's imagining a tiny little version of himself dancing around in his own belly, because that's just who he is. Notice the temperature has dropped significantly. Is it cold in this water now, or is it just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. No, this is this is my impression of me. So I, I figure, like, while well, we're doing the impressions, if I do an impression of me, then no one can complain about my other impressions. Because then if my impression of me sounds bad... Yeah? my impression of me sounds bad then no one can criticize it the other impressions Wraith seizes up and squeezes his eyes shut please I uh, can't be around any cube talk not since I heard that story from somebody else a long time ago the story you just told us the story you told us two minutes ago exactly the one that wasn't about me uh, usually we'd be a little more nervous that we were out to make things awkward when we barge in. But obviously we couldn't. But obviously we couldn't hold a candle to what was happening here tonight. Either way, it's time for bed. No, for you, but not us. After you go to sleep, that's when we party. After spending the day cooped up in this safari resort uniforms, you just know those two rage into the night. Did, did Dwight and Claudette fuck? But you're not here to party with them. You've got your own repressed relationships to deal with. You head over to the campfire, though. He is comforting. Looking at the cracking embers, you think about Wraith's story about the young man who found out he was part of the sinister plot. What don't you know about your current situation? Is it something that will terrify you? Something that will make you snap? What if you look into the eyes of evil? What if you like it? Before you can dwell too much on your flake, Colette and Dwight arrive. The now familiar creepy smiles stretch from ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see that by, uh, by spotlight. Uh, we must apologize for the accommodations. Uh, we... We weren't prepared for another guest, but we're going to make you comfortable as I try and... They hand over a pillow and blanket and snuggle up by the fire. Perhaps some music will put you at ease. Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Are other guests on the type you would like to rub on the beach sleep? Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm going to go for 96. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bit off. We're over 98 this time. One, two, three, four. I like this. I'm going for 100 this time. Two, three, four, five.
I'm gonna go for 92. Fuck that, miles off. Do you know what? I want 96 again. Everybody else, either is playing this? the game or talking about the game or creating content relating to the game or being inspired by the game to write music or to make outfits. It's this is one of the this of is one of the like interviews, isn't it? Like this amazingly rich and passionate environment. It means groups of people who interact on every single possible social platform in person. It means people who play together. It's even the people who play by themselves and never talk to anybody. Uh, so it's important for us to, to be. Oh, we're going to ask one of the killers to spend a bit of time with us. Who should we ask to spend time with us? Now my my instinct is Russian wife. Trust a year around. I was wondering if I could get a little company. Antress appears in an instant. You didn't hear her coming. Oh, I'd hear her. She's more than happy to tell you a secret for falling asleep when she's feeling restless. If a Soviet lullaby doesn't work, this special mushroom tea has always done the trick. When I'm not coating the blade of my hatchet in it to ease the passing of my victims, I'm seeping it in the hot piping mug of water. Try it. Wait, are you telling me that um, Huntress drinks tea? Just like Bird and Blend are my favorite tea company, and we're now affiliated. You can use the my special link, and I get a little kickback from them. And um, all the money goes to charity. I'm drinking a salted caramel Lebrüchen today, which is a German style tea, um, like the German biscuit. You do. You start to feel sleepy, except maybe this isn't sleepy. You may be paralyzed. No, darkness. It shouldn't be a spooky, but now you've had a whole day. Really worked up a sweat, watching those killers toss the ball around. Would it have heard so much splash around in the ocean and waves afterwards? I'm just saying, I'm out here, you know. You wait to see someone looming over you. You find a spirit beside you reading a paper book. Oh, oh, hey, what? Shh. Clearly she's noticed you're awake, but she hasn't looked at you. Like she's pretty focused on her book. Seems like forever she stares at the page before shooting the book and setting it down. Oh, you're awake. Yeah, I, uh, never mind. I saw you with the huntress right before bedtime. I won't tell you how to live your life, but if you'd ask me, you could do it a lot better. It's completely by accident that I even saw them over here. It was not like I was looking out for you or anything. This is simply the best reading light, and the text in my book is very, very fine print, so it's tough to read in the dark. Don't get the wrong idea. You and I are obviously mind your own business types, not phony look out for each other as an excuse for just being nosy types. But since you're here and I'm here, maybe we've got other things in common. Who knows? If we spend a little more time together tomorrow, we might, I don't know, we might get along. And by that, I mean exist completely uncomfortably without any burning desire to assassinate the other person. Or not. Whatever. I don't even care. Bye. Good night and sweet dreams to you too, I guess. Finally alone for this real this time. You drift off to sleep. Hopefully you're not being poisoned. Are we going into day two? Wait a second. Where are we? This isn't... Oh, jeez. It's one of those reality TV show confessional rooms where all the contestants talk directly to camera. 
I think the day went really well. Those are my first interactions with someone who's a parent that didn't end up in bloodshed or ultimately perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win no matter what happens. What do I think of the newcomer? Do I have to say? Attractive? Mysterious? I don't know any other words since I was raised by my mom and it was until she was screwed by an elk and I had to wash her entrails off my seraphim. That being said, the other three should be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will spend time with tomorrow, but I for one will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? Can I be honest? Russian. Wife. Loves dogs. Drinks tea. She's perfect for me. But the more I talk to her, the more I have to do this voice. It's the balance. There's this side and there's this side. This side is spending more time with her. This side is having to do the voice. I just realized it looked like I was cupping one of her breasts. I didn't mean this to look like that. Give her a new voice. Wait, I think that's more uh, than he knows about this place, but he's a tough nut to crack. Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major bugs kill and trapper. Who do I believe? Do I begin with trapper? It's buff, but daddy issues much. Sheesh. Look, I don't need anyone. I'll be perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I ate a fire diet of four deer, bear, and human. I'm fit as a fiddle. It did, it did, I didn't realize until. <laughs> that being said, something about. Look how big her arms are. I can't do it. Can't line myself up. If I'm being honest, I want to kill just about every every person that I meet within a minute of meeting them. Hi, can you be hello, Mary Biscuits? Have you done something different today? I've done a lot of things different today, Mary Biscuits. <laughs> Uh, even the few people I can tolerate, I just want to see suffer for a long time before I kill them. But this person, for some reason, I'd like them to continue living for now. One false step and, <laughs> well, you know me, everyone calls me Trapper for a reason. They better call me Trapper. I swear if I watch this lady and you list me as heaven, I'm going to kill a guy wrong guy. Uh, yeah, today was really fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself or um, invest in something that might hurt me. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll see how it goes. But maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what will happen. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? Uh, you know, I think I learned a lot about myself today. I always thought I was doomed to be alone for eternity. Only my creeping desire for revenge to keep me company. Now... I know it. We're doing all right. Doing all right. You open your eyes, the sun's shining, there's not a cloud in the sky, and you feel great. Well rested. You're not even suspicious of the fact you fell asleep by the cow campfire but woke up several yards down the beach. Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You're here for another day. Why not? You're obviously a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. Wouldn't we run out a nightmare just yet, though? At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? And talk about sexy, here comes Trips to Kai and Coffee. Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start off this incredible day, right? Trixter seems suspiciously careful, cheerful. Despite, I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor. Everyone knows musicians are morning people. I also want to wish you good luck. Today is an important one. My only regret is I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issues. Also, I'm swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Trickster winks at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island, now is the... T well, never mind. He left. At least he bought me a cup of... No, wait, don't do that. 
What the hell was that? I, I'm for the, anyone who's new. I'm having to do my own voice, so I'm trying to remember what I sound like. So this is what I think I sound like. What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on a skateboard. They definitely didn't get that name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. That was almost certainly not coffee. I don't want him casually poisoning, prisoning, or torturing you yet. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise. The type of place you give a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 thumbs up review to. Not an eternal prison of pain. Please make sure to leave a review. It really helps with the algorithms. Trust me, I'm looking out for you. So can we move on? <coughs> does it just sound... I hope it does sound like my normal voice. Hey, wait a second. How did an omniscient, possibly unreliable narrator physically just knock that coffee out with your hand? This is not Parliament and the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak out of turn at this moment. I need no recognition, for I am ocean. I dominate the land. I submerge those who defy me and become their watery grave. Speaking of graves, I'd like to say something. Something of grave importance. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, I'm not saying it is. Even a place that would scream horror can receive a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10 thumbs up review. If it was crafted with love and all that's that's the type of thing you're into. The ocean is right. A lot of hard work goes into a place like this. You should really judge it on the artist's intent. And whenever possible, start with the mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt. Constructing these elaborate simulations, I, I mean vacations, not easy to do. Sometimes their bugs are inconsistencies, but that's the nature of the process. This is like the third time that the game has tried to get in a cheeky oh there might be bugs in this game but just don't worry about it this is this is like the third time they've done that right we got to celebrate those adventures a bit of this all as part of the creative process with the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment not be overly critical of them are you two trying to sell me on these place being actually good you don't have to say it like that especially after i saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee I'm um, sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. But they don't want us to do this on the second morning. Sad, really. Even if they do make some great points. Oh, sure, they make some great points. I agree. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Our, our apologies, Taff. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying the old time here on the island? Uh... I've been having a lovely time. If I used to summarize my time here, I'd call it a lovely time. Oh, lovely. We'd love to hear that. Because this is what this place was all about. Finding love. No. Shut up, Dwight. You got us killed again and again and again and again. We do need to ask you one more question. We'll sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Would you please sign this non-disparagement agreement? No. <laughs> no, I will not say anything negative about this island. You have my word that I, Taff, agree with the ver terms of this verbal contract. Perfect. Delightful. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Hey, Taff, it's still cool if you have constructive feedback. The place to leave it is in a positive review because we know nobody reads negative reviews of games of resorts like this. I do, I do like that. Do you know what? I left a negative review of Rust. I don't know if I've if I've shown this on stream. I left a bad review of Rust. And um the game now keeps asking me if I want to update it. It's like, you've played another 12 hours of Rust, do you want to update it? And I'm like, no. Uh because my review is I love playing Rust, but if you can't find the right server to play on, it's horrible. Anyway, I see Dwight and Kodak going into a trance. From the grumbling, I mean, belly, that can mean only one thing. Breakfast. Perfect time, and everyone was in the dining area to lard up their sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon, and so much time for maintaining these beer beach bods. We're half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries, a yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. Take your plate and sit down thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experienced. Danger, dread, disorientation. It was like going through puberty again, except all in one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. Looks like you're not the only one doing some introspection as well. Trapper stands up to talk about his day when, in case anyone was wondering. Personally, I wasn't. 
I wouldn't recommend it to a random friend. They think I was a maniac. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll be honest. I didn't expect you to survive yesterday, so congrats, I guess. Whether you survive today is 50-50 at best. Good luck. Well, that was bizarre. Back to your breakfast. No. Now Hunter steps into talk about feelings. I feel stirred inside my animal heart. Something I've never felt before. It's like the feeling right before I go in for the kill, but softer. A warmer. Sounds like it could be love. Maybe indigestion from all that raw beef she had last night. That must be it. No one else would stand up weirdly in breakfast doing it and here comes spirit. Uh, if I look well rested this morning, it's not because I slept well. You know, I'm too much dedicated to finding revenge to ever sleep again. But because you all left me alone yesterday to be best non-constantly annoyed self, and I thank you for that. And if you don't mind, I'm going to quietly resent being trapped here with you all while looking cute while doing so. Guess Wraith has worked up enough courage to speak in front of a group. There he is, take us home. Oh uh, hey, that was fun yesterday, huh? I mean, like, not too much fun. That would be weird, but like, a good amount of fun. Now they're all looking at you. Were you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel? Oh. Uh, how to, how does Taff sound? Welsh. I think I need some time to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. What a power play. Keep them wanting more. You're good at this game. Sexy, true to life experience. Didn't get any, any breakfast, but so be it. <laughs> Cody, if you were to guess, like, how far through a run I am, how far through a run am I? Because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to do all the voices, let alone, like, some of the voices. After breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was in short a lot. Before you get there, something catches your attention. You hear that? Are you addressing me? Well, yeah, I guess. That's okay, right? You might be pursuing a, new, a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind, seeing as I'm not real. I heard it this time. I hear it's coming. I, I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. I wish Nona was here, because I would get Nona to read this out for me. Really tempted to message Nona. I could, I could, uh, I could, I could message, uh, wait. Don't retire the voices just yet. I, I kind of want to get Nona to read it out though. Let's see if Nona, Nona replies. We might get known in on this. We're getting we're getting known in. We're getting known in. They they don't know what this is about. No more Russian one. No, we'll do the voices. But I'm gonna get known to read this out. We're gonna we're gonna get known to read this out. Known as gonna be Dwight. Ima imagine. Hi, hi, Nona. Oh shit! That's just come through my monitors then, rather than through no, my headset. Nona, you're you're live on my stream, so don't don't say any swears. I'm sorry. Um, I've been them. Um, I've. I've been doing some voice acting during this game, Nona. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've I I thought I'd bring in someone to do 
this. You this needed a professional. Yeah, so I've I've got the the, the speech up on my screen. Could you? Yeah, I, I can could, see it. Could you do the voice, please? It it's for Dwight, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, stick it in there. A little more, a little more. Oh yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna just see. Wait, sorry. It... That's it. Yes. <laughs> wait, I'll, I'll do Claudette. <laughs> okay, um, right. Okay, you do, you do Claudette. Okay. Uh, and uh, how does that feel? I'm just waiting for the stream to that's change. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Intense. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that feels right. Uh, this is uncomfortable. Now this I feels want... <laughs> like monsters seeking monsters all over again. Now, I wanted to take that <laughs> and put it right... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, it's just like that is the line, Nona. Oh, sorry. Just like that? Exactly like that. I swear, I had no idea these two even uh, do whatever it is that they're doing. I'm afraid to look. Please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Ooh, wow. Look at this cool bottle of Trickster brand suntan lotion that someone left on a chair. Does anyone know where I can buy some? Damn it! But this is your line now, no, now. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's it's flicking through now. That's what she said. Ah, oh, come on, a little privacy, please. Dwight is panting and clawed out has a crazed look in her eyes. <gasps> sorry, sorry, I didn't know what else to do to let you know I was here and that I could hear you. Well, you know, no, no, what? What did you think we were doing? You were doing, I don't know what exactly you were doing, but it sounded like, uh, fun. You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. Oh, wow. That got bleak. It got bleak. I just wanted to get we known it to say, stick hmm. it in me. We get five minutes to ourselves every day. And we spend it hoping that if we stab each other in just the right spot, we won't get resurrected. I, I think, guys, um, now that we know that it wasn't anything <laughs> rude, we, we let Nona go. Nona's, Nona told me yeah, that they, I, uh, they, they've only got like two minutes to spare. So we don't want to yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was um, Nona guest starring as Dwight. Yeah. Um, which, you know... I felt it was a role that Nona was born to play. It's true. It's true. And if you do need me to read anything else out, um, yeah, just just let me know. Let's face it. If you were to look at like the DVD survivors and say, which of those is most likely to play World of Warcraft, it would definitely be Dwight. So <laughs> Nona was. <per> <laughs> That's about to do i got summoned to run a dungeon with go. another streamer no <laughs> nona has to nona has to go for another streamer did you hear that guys uh nona <laughs> bef before you go would you like to give um the other streamer a plug oh they didn't want to oh they didn't want to oh they didn't want to Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nona's running the dungeon. Nona's a big wow. If you didn't know Nona wows, we've got a shout out for Nona. Look at that. The second best World of Warcraft player on Twitch. I am actually the best. I've come to the belief to find the keys, the exact place we need to bleed from. And I believe that place is our appendix. Why else would it be there? Makes sense to me. Did you actually think we were me and him? Dwight? <laughs> you don't have to laugh that hard. They get it. <laughs> My life's a nightmare, and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I know there are entry rooms. The five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Taff. You're going to need it. And if you figured out how to explain this island, please make sure you go sell south. That was both a 
tragedy and a comedy. At a cragmedy? Shut up, I like it. Anyway, where were we? You head into the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was in short a lot. So far today has been exhausting. But you dedicate to achieving a true sense of, sense of calm. No drama, no bullshit, just soaking up sun in a heated pool. Today you're on a date with you. Ooh, oh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Who'd make the first move? Aside from that disturbing thought, all is going well until a shadow blocks your breast's sun. A spiky tip, like a palm tree, is bending over to screw with you. But it's not a tree at all, it's... Uh, hey babe. Breakfast was weird. Everyone getting up and announcing how they're feeling. How about that? Some kind of force check-in with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Kind of lazy. Whatever though. Breakfast is dumb. No one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. Have you seen my abs, by the way? Maybe you can see them later on my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island where all the holiday but celebs I know. If you play your cards right, I could give you a private show. Catch you around. His abs are pretty amazing. And the blow up bat is threatening but adorable. Makes for an in interesting silhouette. Genius idea. He's a psychopath just like the rest. You've got to give him anything. I'm not best friends. Just because we had a little talk about doing about doing a little talk. And it's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth ball in four seconds. Okay, now that guy's gone. We have got some ground rules. We're definitely going to bye-bye. So I lay back, take some deep slow breaths. And nope, another shower. Another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see what it is this time. Ah, Huntress, that makes sense. You have got pretty cozy. I feel like it's day two. Maybe we just full on smash towards the Huntress now, as we can. I was trying to stay open minded. We should get out of here. I know a place that's quiet and out of the way. No one will be able to hunt us. I mean, hear us. Doesn't that sound intriguing? Oh, doesn't that sound intriguing? But immediately a flood of warrior floods your brain. Should you pack a picnic, bring a swimsuit or a pocket knife? Decided to bring as much as you can. You may have to run for it at some point. You should be prepared. But you washed up on this island with nothing, so you've got nothing to gather. Are you ready for this? I mean, they call her the Huntress, not the Hugstress. Look up at this towering goddess trying to form a sentence when suddenly... Or you can decide if you want to go with her. The Wraith interjects. Uh, I don't normally do this, but I had a dream about you last night, and, uh, not like a weird dream, but, like, I don't know, and I wanted to tell you about it. You maybe want to hang out with me today. Why am I so bad at this? No worries if not. Huntress seems pretty great, too. Okay, we're, we're going for Huntress. We're going, we're going for Huntress. I'm not reading out all the narrator text there. I gotta go with Huntress. Whee! You and the Huntress make your way to a secluded beach hut. Your heart drums in terror. Don't look at that. Thrums is a real word. And these are nerves of excitement or terror. Isn't it fun to mix the sexy and the horrifying? Huntress is as quiet as a mouse as she guides you through the forest. You struggle to keep up. She moves like a jungle cat, all muscle and silent leaps across the thorny bush. I don't want to know about the thorny bush. She halts suddenly and you crash into her, having been desperately trying to keep up. You follow her gaze and realise you've arrived. Cabin in the woods, obligatory in nearly all horror films and stories. And you've come here willingly with a fearsome killer? Great job. The cabin's cosy, but something feels off. You can't put your finger on what? Hunter stares at you through a bunny mask, cocking her head to the side as if to gauge your reaction to her hideaway. Are you going to invite me inside? Why do you need an invitation? Are you a vampire? <laughs> no. Ah. Uh, is it just me or did Huntress seem a bit dispo disappointed? I didn't peg her for a lover of the fan. Didn't expect to see didn't peg her in, in the game. But hey, I don't judge. Come in, let's explore. The follower inside is creepy, rickety, and definitely not up to code, but has a certain homely charm. You're quite the decorator. She blesses. Did she is. A chandelier made of bones hangs from the foyer ceiling and a collection of trinkets lines the mantle. Something tells you the people who once owned these not of this mortal coil. Could you be Huntress's next victim? The thought gives you a thrill. She's looking at you again. What do you think of my collection? 
Um, I'm not a minimalist. I think I could learn to like this. So much. I could learn to. I could learn to like this. I know there's a lot of thigh there. It's. Do you know what? One of the. One of I find the sexiest parts on both a man or a woman is is like this part here, which is normally you know always often covered by underwear. But when you see that part there, when the underwear is like high, that's that's a, that's a, that's a sexy bit of skin there. I could learn to like this. This whole place is quite ta this whole place is quite tactile. There's so much to look at. The organized chaos makes me want to craft things with my hands. I knew you'd like it here. I, I knew you'd like it here. You have the eye of someone who appreciates fine stolen things. I can't wait to go treasure hunting with you. We could find so many more goodies on the island. But first, what do you think of the other killers on the island? Trix is pretty out there, but everyone seems to have bad stories and whatnot. A little gossip? What are you playing at? I'm just confused as this. She has two mile, mile modes, thoughtful and explosive. You hope to never be in the splash zone when the explosive part emerges. Why? Are you jealous? Before you can answer, the house begins to shake. And she's losing a balance on the termite infested fall and falls into your arms. You're not mad about it. Before you have time to enjoy taking this moment in. Crabs! What? They race at you when Anderson spawn. Click on the razor sharp claws. You must act quickly. What will you do? We're not going to shield her. We're not going to run and hide. Grab a Shaska off the wall. You know a Shaska is a Russian sword, not an umbrella or a can of cola. Back to back with the address, you both hack away. You manage to slay the majority. The ones you miss go scurrying back into their hidey holes. Andres turns to you with a gaze that's full of passion and intrigue. However, before it bubbles over, she looks away, suppressing this feeling. Is she nervous? Andres sits down on the wicker couch and begins cleaning the guts off her hands. It's a regret you're seeing for every killer. You're just happy to not be the source of what she's wiping off. Looks like we're having crab for dinner. She doesn't smile at her joke. She has that ponderous look on her face again. Join her on the couch. Yes, you Man, sometimes these near-death experiences really get me thinking about what I want in life. I've got to say, she does look like she's got a freaky foot. What's going on with this foot? I'm worried about this foot. I like to start a family one day. How about you? Uh, of course. I love kids. Would love to be a parent one day. That's true. Hi, Ash. Hunter smiles. I love my dear mother so much. I can't wait to have some of that special relationship with my daughter one day. Teach her everything I know. And I won't be killed by some horrible elk. What were you like as a kid? Trying to imagine this giantess as a meek child in a puff of coat, wandering about the world. Huntress laughs, her, her laugh quite her laugh quite soft and cute. <laughs> I was so innocent. We hunted to survive, then went back to the cottage and mother would tell me stories and we'd drink tea and imagine a life far away from the woods, somewhere like this. I suppose I finally achieved what she wanted from me. But since coming here, something feels off. It's beautiful and warm and everyone is so attractive Thank like the first traps goes. galore. Thanks, Ash. That tea is very cold now. But don't you get the feeling something's coming for us? Oh no, she's on to you. But on about what? Swollen memories run through your nightmares. Dwight and... Claude's vacant stairs that belies some kind of hypnosis. <laughs> Taft turned into a drunk Kimi Raikkonen. Quick validate. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. She thinks that something's coming for us. Is something coming for us? Oh, do I say yes? Validate your theory or push it off. Validate seems too obvious.
What? I don't feel that way at all. Everything's perfect here and I know nothing. Nothing okay. Nice save. Wouldn't want to derail the mission. Maybe you have... <gasps> no! Claudette and Dwight burst in. We, we have a dramatic announcement. But uh, it needs to back at the beach. Drive at the beach and realize you were set up. There's no big announcement. We have a big rivalry. Like that is true. Like that voice said we cannot hear and certainly on referencing says. Ooh, ooh. We, uh, we were forced to interrupt your lovely day by another killer. They're here and ready to make you an offer of love you won't be able to deny. So this has got to be Wraith, right? Trap! Trapper emerges from the water. Is he in slow motion? He's pure thirst. He's Paul Newman on the horseback. He's Denzel on the cover of GQ. Manly manliness brought into real life. Was he holding his breath under the whole time waiting for his cue? That's commitment to a bit if ever I've seen it. I heard you spend the day in a quaint cottage. That's cute. How about a quaint mansion? Or better yet, one on each continent. Yeah, I'm including Antarctica. I'm really, really rich. It's funny because like it's obviously not a not an attraction for me now. Think of how cozy we can get in a snowy ten bed chateau. One of these pools that is half indoor, half outdoor, but nice he recognizes his skin. D don't say that because my biscuits um tweeted about the super rich today and I was like I was like, shit, am I super rich? No, I'm just rich. I don't think I'm super rich. I think Billy billionaires they're the super rich right i'm i'm just in the rich category billionaires are super rich i think i think i'm okay i'm only joking by the way my biscuits you're not dumb rich the way you can kill a man with papa bear from the outside while watching the cubs cry over a body from the inside trap is the real deal and by real i do mean really and by deal i mean evil Plus, you really want to hunt for your food for the rest of your life? With me, you get it both ways. Uh, I imagine when, when Trapper said you get it both ways to Cody, Cody was thinking about, well, well Trapper's a switch. Uh, savagery and someone to clean up after you? Sounds nice, right? As if. this That life isn't for me, bro. I'm impressed with how you can speak with implied quotation marks. Very cool. This guy's a douche nizzle. Try hard too much. He's like the turn of the century Pacific Northwest version of a Wall Street bro. It tracks. Patrick Bateman with a huge trip on his shoulder. You wouldn't go with him if he was brandishing a cleaver at you. Oh shit, he is! S save me, Russian wife. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm into a quiet lifestyle. I relish my independence and don't need someone to wipe my butt for me. I don't need someone to wipe my butt for me because I have a B day. You run back into the arms of the huntress. You, she hugs you so tight, so tight you feel the life leave your blood, but it hurts so good. You know what? I'm impressed you stood up to me. I appreciate someone giving me their honest opinion, even if that opinion makes me want to carve out your liver. And the butt wiping comment, that's not what I meant by clean up after you. But I'm hiring someone to do that for me the moment I get home. Trapper leaves and you turn a huntress walking in slow motion back in the water. Pretty weird. It's going to stay in there all night. Shall we continue our date? I feel the date took a bad turn though. Nothing's familiar. We might get lost. Can you believe... That's not me. Can you believe that guy? Classic Trapper. Put in a move like that. I'm so glad you chose me, though. I don't think we've explored all there is between us yet. She brings a bunny masked eye and scoops you onto her back. She runs through the mud woods with us. I'm piggybacking? Uh, the wind ruffled your hair and I must clear a path for you as she leads like that famous teen vampire drama in that one scene where he calls her a spider monkey. I, do I don't know. Is that Twilight? Is that a Twilight reference? Uh, Huntress doesn't call you that. Eventually, she lowers you to the ground and you take a new surroundings, a wooded clearing in a forest. 
and just pounces around like a deer in a meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few quite cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They're so cute and sly, but I see right through them. They're just assholes. Great with heart sauce. Wow, I just, I used to know someone who was, um, I used to know a fox who I thought was so cute and nice, but turned out to be sly and an asshole. I'm just here rustling and darts off to find its source, crouching down low like an animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which way did you come from? No idea. You sense the direction is all off. <laughs> Coming my hair. A mellifalous voice floats the air, land on your ears like syrup honey. Come find me. Oh no. Two, three, four. Five, six. Two, three, four, five. It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we were just in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Miles off. Miles off. Tag! You bop Hendricks on the shoulder. You f she high fives you. you. Trying to date this young lady or just bro down? I'm so sorry, Ta. I'm so sorry. Got a dab. You got an ambidextrous dab there. You're so good at hiding. You're so good at hiding. I'm having a real blast. Thanks. They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to get good at something. They do say that. Have you missed a gamba? Yeah, there's a big gamba going on. That was fun, huh? I try to relax and have a good time, but that's hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. We're between two. We're either saying, like what, or what if we let our pants down? Now I said I was gonna play this as if it was me. I said I was gonna play this as if it was me. And all the decisions until now, I've tried to answer as if it was me. Now I would probably say that. I would probably say that. Stay in character. Co Cody will think better of me if I stay, if I stay solid, if I stay true. I really want to say it. Like what? This person paid money to watch this stream. What a mug. I love it when he stays on it. Thank you, Plague, for gifting to Static. Sometimes I find young girls in the woods, perfect angels that need my protection, but if I turn my back for a moment, they end up dying. I got dark, but you feel like Huntress wouldn't admit this to anyone. Call it and Dwyer back. Okay, I, I swear we're good for you for good reason this time. No one's... Yeah, no, 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 no one's manipulating us this time. It's time for dinner. Come get some grub. Thank you, Plague. Um, if you or Static would like to play High Low, let me know. What a fun day you had over... I can see it all over your face. You're shining. That's not just the anxious sweat from having spent an afternoon caught in a psycho killer. See, she doesn't feel like a killer to me. You're feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry, I'll keep your dirty little secrets. But enough to get back to this gent ribbon. It's time to get back to business. All the um, all the appetizing signals have arrived for dinner, including Trickster. Wraith is here too. We're not the gag where we scram them all on screen. So just believe me, they're all here and they're all as sexy and demented as you remember them. With your love of life on the line, 
everyone's being careful not to offend you by saying the wrong thing. Congratulations, by the way, that getting this far. What? Wait. Do we normally not get this far? Would is there ways of dying? Not because of your personality, because you just met them yesterday. Spirit seems like the biggest long shot to end up holding your heart. She throws caution to the wind and speaks up. It's a pretty small consolation prize, but let them have this moment. Uh, clearly, I uh, need to do a little bit more to be part of this group, or I'll be alone forever. However, I don't eat and I don't like being I like being alone, so I take that back. I don't care what the group has for dinner, as long as we start with a shrimp cocktail. I saw a movie once where these ghosts turned shrimp cocktails into a haunted synchronized dance, and I'm still trying to work out how they did it. You mean, uh, you mean beetle? Taff something for saying it. Beetle shrimp, the, the most delicious and rare type of shrimp. Beetle shrimp? Be beetle shrimp? Is it some new species? As I hunted many beetles and many shrimps, and I've never heard of beetle shrimp. Of course you haven't. Like the spirit. Of course you haven't. Like spirit says, they've got hypnotic power, which she some forgets, and something to do with dancing. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything. No. I wasn't going to say anything that dumb. I was going to say. <laughs> Excuse me, Tav. Now you're saying, Trapper. You've done all you can. I appreciate it. I'm going to have to narrate us out of this somehow. Hold on, are you so Hold on. Are you afraid we might accidentally recite some spell and conjure a ghost? Because I hate to break it to you, but it's too late for that. Then a giant osprey swooped swoop down and dropped a severed head on the table, distracting everyone. Trapper! Uh, I've never seen this. No, American. I've never seen this particular severed head before. This time I'm being honest. Not my finest work, but something had to be done. You've got to be careful about which cultural references we get. Beetlejuice would be a great killer for DBD. Dinner will be served shortly, but certain power brokers like to know about your day. Would you like to share your day with the rest of the group? You've had an interesting day, but how will you describe it to the others? Say too much or too little and it could affect your stamina. Don't just sit there saying nothing. Nothing is not an option. Tell if you brush with death or joke about having kids. We don't joke about having kids. That's that's too personal. We went to hunt, we went to hunt the secret cabin. We we mentioned the secret cabin. Oh, hearts. It's true. I'm falling asleep to the delicious sounds of crusting crustaceans. This would never happen on my yacht. I grind them up. Much more satisfying way to kill crabs. These those kind of crabs. I have a little kind of cool for the other kind. Glad we're not fucking trapper now. Dwight and Claudette bring out dinner. Everyone eats in silence. No one trusts each other. They're all tired. Oh, no, wait there. That's a dreamy supernatural horror thriller. <laughs> Bony appetite. Don't you mean... Don't you mean bun? Uh, no. <laughs> no, almost everything we serve has a lot of bones in it. Even the vegetables. Impossible to avoid on this island. Everyone eats without speaking. Tensions are rising, both of the sexual and deadly. When everyone finishes, Dwight and Claudette come back to clean up the table. They linger around you as they pick up your plate, take your napkin, dust crumbs off the table. What would you like to say to the servants? Fuck. Your top-notch service. Your top-notch service is very much appreciated. In fact, here. For us? Just for doing our jobs? <gasps> Thank you kindly. Everyone, if you would be so kind as to follow us to the fire pit, we'd greatly appreciate it. We've been told something big is going to happen. You can go unwillingly or willingly. You have no choice. Tough cookies. Did you have a choice how you said that, dweeb? Yes, and I immediately regret how I did. Good. Something needs to change around here. Fire is rebirth. Fire eliminates the cell. I uh, hope the fire isn't too smoky. 
Smoke hurts my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. The fire, not my eyes. Because of childhood trauma involving fire. Everyone starts to move towards the fire pit. If only to get away from race complaining. You take a seat on a comfortable log. I'm worried that someone else is going to try and kill me. Will narrator tell a story? <laughs> Everyone makes their way in, but nothing. something happens. Nothing. Something always seems to happen, so nothing is not a good sign. Oh, cool. Now everyone's looking at you. So do something. Should, it, should I pick someone to tell a story? Or we could play charades. Boggle. Uh, well, we were actually thinking, why don't you tell us a story? Wraith points his spine and staff thing to jig at you. Deck out his way. What? You don't know what that thing can do. Maybe shoot lasers? Try not to bore us. We're just very interested in you. Uh, don't speak for me, Huntress. Now, you can't tell if you're warm from the fire if it's your nerves. I know the fire is right here, but maybe if we stop talking about the time it can start to pretend it's not here and doesn't, you know, threaten to burn us all alive. He's not supposed to hear me. Get out of your wraith. Time is about to make an important decision about the t story. Um, we should tell a story. Everyone wants us to tell a story. Sure, I'm going to tell it. Sure, I'm going to tell a story. Yeah, I hope it's a mystery. What type of story do you want to tell? Adventure. All right, well, you know you're Dwayne the Rocker Johnson movies. How about some adventure? Now we're talking. It's not my... F it's not my favorite... But I respect your choice and will nod politely. Uh, you don't have to say that, Ray. Just, do you notice how every time it changes, I have to take a second to think of the voice? Okay, ready? Here goes. I really like to go fishing. Solid foundation for a story, for sure. Pause, everyone's waiting with bated breath. Oh, wait, that was it? You sure that's all you have to say? No. No, I was just kidding. Personal. I'll get a little personal now if that's okay. Those types of tales are usually the best. And often the most sad. It's a bit of a love story. Is it about two strong hunters and me when they try to banish into some wily wolverine? Or about a deranged killer who makes a woman who is bleeding when there's a display of shocking violence? Uh, not quite. It's about my parents. They met at a party in college. He was hosting. She'd been dragged there by some friends. Oh. Uh, they couldn't have been more different, and yet as the night went on, they were drawn more and more to each other. She made fun of his taste in music, and he took an interest in her major. Women's studies. They were married within two months. Bit too soon to know you can trust someone, don't you think? It's so sweet. Exactly. I learned a lot about love from them. And if you know, you know. Some people don't need years to get acquainted with someone. Love could spark from a look across a campfire. Now you've got their attention. Each killer is furiously trying to catch your eye from across the fire bit. It's quite alarming. Apart from Trixie who has his headphones in and is playing loud music to drown you out. That wasn't a good story, but it was actually quite bad. This narrator keeps it real. Can't end it there. So who would you want to hear a story from? We have to go Huntress, right? <sighs> Huntress, you seem ready to go. Let's hear from you. Sure thing. My neck of the woods isn't wanting for horrible mythology. My mother told me a story of a young man who was traveling back home after war. Uh, which war? Doesn't matter. I just wanted some backstory details to paint a picture. I'll paint, I'll paint you a picture. The man was lost and running out of food rations. He stopped for the night underneath a birch tree. That's when he saw the woman, naked, sting listening in the twilight glow. Oh, I'm invested. 
They sang a haunted melody as they made their way down the hill towards the inviting lake. Intended by the music, the young man followed the parade of beautiful women until they stopped in a clear next to the water. They turned to him and smiled. One woman with long red hair stepped forward and reached for his hand. The others began to play music. Flutes, lutes, tambourines, the melody was intoxicating. The man's feet began to move beneath him. He was dancing, moved by the magical mystery of these women. Twilight dust into night and the man grew weary, but when he tried to move his still moving feet, he found he could not. I cannot stop dancing! He tried to the nearest one man, a slender woman with green hair. She drew near him and he saw her faces to score into something horrific. She was bloated and I hanging from one socket, skin the color of algae. I was Slalka, her true self. You'll never stop dancing, she screeched to him. My sisters and I were drowned in this lake by men of your regiment. Consider this your punishment. But the man said, It was not me. Some of us paid the was because I had a voice filled with briny malice. So the man danced and danced till his bone broke and his heart gave out. The dance of death. A silent beat as everyone takes in this macabre ending. But it's not all bad. Muscas are also fertility goddesses. If a lady had stumbled upon them, she would have been blessed with a fruitful womb and some candy for the road. Does she think that's a happy ending? I won't watch that. I'm just seven. How was story time? A lot of people like to take part shots of sequels, but I think every good story deserves a follow up. When you think it's the end, a sequel is almost never as rewarding as the original. That's why I'm much more a fan of the episodic tile. No one says the series takes a lot of pressure off any individual installment and builds a greater sense of community between audience and creator. Tell me, Taff, if you could delete any sequel from existence, what would it be? Don't answer that, we don't actually care. If I could, any sequel. Die Hard 4. Die Hard 4 and Die Hard, Die Hard 3. God forbid my small talk get in the way of a romantic twilight. Oh, Rocky, Rocky Six, is it? Not the Russian one. The one where, the one where they screwed it all up. Dwight, I'm gonna need you to shut your app trap. You know we need to get back to that thing that we do whenever we're not on stream. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Try you have to fun tonight and, and and try not to wink, wink, end up dead. Why did you say the words wink wink out loud and what kind of double entendre are you getting out with the end up dead thing? Uh, Dwight is physically incapable of win winking since the accident. And you know these people are despicable criminals, double digit kill counts, right? Because I have a spirit, she doesn't really belong here. She's strictly a victim, not a perpetrator. No wonder she's pissed. Did I hear someone trash talking spirit? Deal me in. What'd you say I take this talk to the hot tub so I can soak this bard while I roast the ghost of some killer hot takes? Please, enough of talk, en enough talk of burns, literally things are getting lit or blaze. These activities have to be set next to a fire, must I still be surrounded by figurative flames? What if we just turn and ran as far as we could, just you and me? On those spindly legs, you probably tire before you got too far. If he's running away to some place more secluded, the tough is after, you should join me. Have you seen these legs? Pure power. Not that my walks reflects my giant stature is because I choose to move slowly for stealthy reasons. It's my own choice and it's completely logical. Uh, why is everybody obsessed with comparing themselves to each other and creating drama? And so over all that. Don't you get it? Society wants to trick you with fighting each other so that corporations can swoop in and sell you fake solutions to all your fabricated pro problems. I'll be sitting in the shade and drinking something locally sourced with funding through a public domain novella printed on recycled paper because I refuse to play their game anymore. It's like she's f trying to be as unappealing as possible. Does it really turn anyone else on or is it just me? Despite Trapper's insatiable appetite, see his attention along with the attention of everyone else is still on you for the moment. If you could pick one of us, we could all move on. Who would it be? Well, we're... we're I think we're, I think we're, I think we're going full on Huntress. And Huntress? Huntress? We're gonna, we're gonna another drink. You know, I had a feeling you picked me. You got good taste and I don't just say that cause I'm considering eating you. Grip it and rip it, baby. Grip it and rip it, baby. 
Huntress looks her lips as she eyes you up and down. You've never felt like a literal piece of meat this much in your life before. What have you got yourself into? Let's go over to the bar. I'm going to make you into something special. Wait, I'm going to make you into something special? You go to the bar and you find an arrangement of arts and craft supplies and taxidermy tools. You don't know what's going through Huntress's head. You're terrified she might snap. Some something on your mind? She smiles. Drink this. No. Is she gonna drug us? I felt like it was going really well. Is it not going really well? Isn't that one of Blight's flowers? Oh yeah! You look around and consider what else there is. Bombs away. You pound the drink, it's quite nice. I've been thinking about making you a present. A mask? Would you be into that? Of course, I've always... Of, co of, of course, I've always admired yours. What would you like? It can be a dog, even though I know you like them. There's an ex. They were really into Dobermans. Too into them. It's a long story. We know she likes fishing. She likes fishing. Rabbit mask feels too obvious. Cat mask is out. Cat mask is out. She established herself as a dog person. Fish mask. We 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 mentioned fishing once, and she liked fishing. A mask with a light dangling off the front of it, and big scaly fang teeth. All the better to see in the dark when I go for my evening hunt and chomp my prey to death. I'm talking angler fish, baby. That's such a cool idea, badass. I'm full of cool ideas. I don't know where they come from. Probably like the clouds or something. Well, I know what I'm going to be working on tonight. All alone in my skimpy pajamas. And just winks at you. This. Should we get out of here? Should we get out of here? This deserves a celebration. This deserves a celebration. This, this deserves a celebration. You thump your fist on the face. Ta on the table like a similar old timey movie about horny vikings or surly Russian ice farmers. Horny vikings sounds like a TV show that Cody would 100% watch. More drinks! Drinks for all my friends. Uh, slow it down. I don't even. Russian wife, Russian wife. Well, slow it down. I don't have that kind of energy after today. Let's do something more relaxing. I just, you've got loads of hobbies. Why don't you share something with us you're passionate about? Something less totally deadly than throwing axes or chasing survivors? Maybe just a thought. Making more masks or... Wait, making matching gloves. No, you little joker. I'm thinking a different kind of making. Making our victims die fast, medium or slow deaths, depending on the mood we're in. It's another round of be careful of what you wish for on, Dwight, on, a, on Murderous Islands. Dwight, I need your help. Um, Doing something different in a different place entirely? You read my mind. See you there. I'm talking about mycology. You know mushrooms. I picked a lot of them and I'm very familiar with which ones wait for a great soup base and which ones make you super dead. I'll show you two mushrooms you point at the one that's safe to eat. Fuck. It feels like it's that one. That's... Correct, it's called a black trumpet and it's delicious. This one's very easy. Point to the one that won't result in almost instant death if you eat it. Okay. Now I think. Wait, do you know this stack? Do you actually know this?
So this this one. This one's dying. This one won't let me die. Correct, that's a chantrell. Oh yeah, it's a chantrell. Which one made you jump for joy and which one made you vomit till you die? Right. The fact that this is green makes me think The green makes me think it's a thing to trick you. But then, I'm, I've am i seen more mushrooms that are shaped like this. We're going for it. That's a green... That's a green cracking wrestler. Might look moldy, but you shouldn't gra judge its appearance. Not everything as it appears. That was fun. I like flexing more than my biceps. Tablet in your answers and perfect score. That knowledge... Perfect score. That knowledge is going to come in handy if we're stranded on this island. And just caps her hands. I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are alluring in their own way. It means a lot you spend some time with a forest bumpkin such as myself. You're no bumpkin. You're a strong, independent woman. You're no bumpkin. You're a strong, independent woman. Don't demean yourself. And just leaps on you, knife you to your throat. I'll demean myself if I want to. She's angry, but also turned on. We're, we're here. They're gathering everyone on the beach, typical. What the voice said. Uh, I'm telling you, and I'm being honest, you're the only one who can hear me. Did that go well at the end? Or did that go bad? We're, we're at the volleyball court. Yeah, the sun's beginning to rise, so we need to get some beauty rest. We've used our time well. Getting to know the gang. Everyone's gathered for a new date. Pitch a dream date and see who Taft chooses. <gasps> How round are we talking? Not to eat. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you about the dream date they have planned for you tomorrow. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention. Spirit, why don't you get first? Stop talking. Hit a spirit. Figuratively. Uh, tomorrow you're spit in the face of God, die and be reborn anew. That's it? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with Trapper or dig up whatever mysteries with Wraith. I don't know what those guys do all day. Do you want to at least specify which god you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. Okay, so hydrate tonight if you want to hang with Spirit. Trapper, without further ado, would you like to make us uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what it's like? Dead by daylight dating experience? Sometimes you just got to say it. Why, yes, I'd love to. So Taffy thinking of picking me? Well, this is your final warning. Pick me and be punished and rewarded. Tomorrow will suck, possibly. Not an easy guy to get along with. I know that. But I didn't tell you this much. My hiding a sacred on this island that will make fans shit themselves with excitement. If you like Trapper, then you're going to love it. If you're not, then you're a maggot. Also, everyone, even confident, sexy ladies in rabbit mess, better stay the hell away from my yacht. Uh, that's what I assumed. Um, that that was the case because they said there was no no particular order but then they said there was an order and we definitely have done nothing with spirit uh, Wraith I uh, don't know I just prefer to tell Taff privately don't know if this is going to work with this game mechanics or if you just whispered it Wraith considers this that's fine Wraith lowers his voice to a barely audible whisper tomorrow we have to find my bell then I can finally tell you about what I've been working on gonna be really special the kind of thing where we'll bond maybe find a guy off this island and go on a real date uh you done that it wait nods right huntress why don't you take it from here quick drink ah tomorrow morning i'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht don't worry trapper won't even know it's gone what was that Nothing. Go away. Then boy, oh boy, I got such an adventure planned. Involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guys, you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, it's primo stuff. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to start preparing because it's clear, really clear you're going to pick me. Confident. Serious. I like it. And time's up. You're going to have to dream about these options so you're ready to choose. Go dream about it so you're ready to make a choice. Have a swell night. Oh gosh, before we run away, there's one more thing to do. No reality single date 
be complete without singling out one of our contestants who's already teetering on the edge of a psychological breakdown and giving them a push. Hold up! This has been a survival dating competition parody this entire time, and I'm just now finding out about it? Come on, the signs were there, you just didn't read them. Welcome to Murderer's Island. It's now time to eliminate one of the killers. It's like butchering, but it hurts even worse. You can't kill a killer, but you can break their heart. You dare to even try. You mean, that's right, tomorrow one of these sexy slices will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it going to be? But why? Because it's dramatic? Because it's surprising? Because it's a classic reversal of fate? And it hurts some fe someone's feelings? Someone's dangerous? Trapper seems like he might throttle you in his sleep. At least you see him covering. Spirit could be anywhere she floats and she can disappear. If you get rid of Wraith, you might cry. Although I normalize men crying being vulnerable. Might be an ugly crier. Huntress might pretend to be okay with it, but then we'll start seeing her behind every tree. I think we're eliminating. Trapper. And we're eliminating Trapper. This was very simple. Trapper, you scared the living shit out of me. You eliminated. That's fair. Honestly, I don't care. You suck. But not in a good way. You bore me, your personality free maggot. It wouldn't have been even fair, fun to kill you. Which I was going to do tomorrow, the first chance I got. So really, this is win-win. Still might kill you. Out of principle for eliminating me. See, so with both eyes open. And have fun on your date. Oh, you book. Now you've broken the heart of someone hard as you should go get some shy. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you've left behind. Because of all, they'll receive a consolation prize. They might not get to go home with Tav when this is over, but they'll never sleep alone again. That's right, we're sending our eliminated player home with... A trickster body pillow. Dwight tested Claudette approved. I hope you sleep well tonight, Taff. You're my hero for what you've accomplished. How can you sleep knowing what you've done? Not because of the guilt, but there's a homicidal maniac who hates you nearby. How can you sleep tonight? Knowing what you'll do tomorrow. Or even for one big rich guy. I mean, that is true. I don't know how you'll do it, but you've got to build for Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep. So is this final day? What a crazy way to end the day. Let's check in with everybody. I can't... I can't help it if I have thick arms and legs to go till they stop. I knew we had a connection from the moment I saw them through my mask. You could never be sure what's going on in the newcomer's mind, but I like my odds. It's fun hunting for food. Uh, for love and not for food or vengeance for a change. I don't have much clue what's happening here. I haven't been paying attention. Taff, I'm sorry, I focused on other things. More important things. One way or another, I won't be here much longer. I don't have a redemption bill. At least I don't think I do. No one's been dumb enough to reject me before. The more I think about it, the angrier I'm getting. I'm a giant rage monster, so everybody in the room should be scared right now. Turn the camera off. Uh, did I think there was a chance I'd get eliminated? Yeah, I did. But did I care? Not even a little. Does the volume of words I spent talking about how much time I care things signify a deeper yearning for me to be seen here to validate by those around me? Nah. Uh, you're not part of this. You don't get a confessional. It's cool, man, but I'm not part of this. But you feel me. I'm not cogging anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. Still thing is pretty cool, though. Charming and low-budget, old-school marketing vibes. Not gonna lie, wish I wasn't so busy right now. I'd be down with this reality show style date competition with survival elements. But I got my new album, my upcoming tour, finalizing the new sneaker line, producing a limited set series on my life, starting a new social media NFT crypto app, and doing these private gigs over on IP Island. Dude, you gotta check it out. IP Island is where the real killers hang out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers take a hype. I'm talking about your favorite established character from all over pop culture that can be seen on this island. Hell, you could probably can't even mention them like Ghostface. <laughs> Ghostface. Come on. I don't even care. I'm the trickster. See you around, Taff. You too, Nerea. Oh, you do? Yeah, they don't pay me enough to deal with these people. This is my turn. No, it's not your turn. You send him water. How are you sitting in that chair? What's a chair? It's the thing you're getting all wet. Now it's going to smell like mildew. 
Okay, rude. Okay, short turn ocean. Check in. I was just looking for the bathroom. Bathroom, are you serious? It's down the hall to the left. It's okay. Never mind. Never mind? What does that mean? Oh, not you two. It wasn't confessional time for literally every character. Uh, it's okay. We don't have to confess anything. We've just been working our asses off for two days. I wanted to sit down. The, 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 the chair is wet? Yeah, I think the ocean just peed on it. How is that part? You know, I don't care. You two are looking pretty pleased. I've got, oh, I've got something to confess. What's it going to be? Watching Trapper get eliminated was the first time in this unended spiral showcase of pain that is my life that I felt a modicum of joy. Every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare. This place is sunny, sweet, sugary drinks. It sounds so fun for a long weekend. For an eternity, the unrelenting rhythm and waves and seagulls. It's like a crescendent song of evil that makes me question the very foundation of this universe. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? What kind of sentient being would do this? Please erase me from this universe. Make sure Ed was never born. Pull the plug. Let my soul be free. And please, please, get me out of this polo shirt. Okay, okay let's get you back to bed, buddy. I don't want to go to bed. Going to bed means I wake up. Yeah, because that was a weird way to end. Right, everyone's had their shot. Soft sunlight warms your skin. Using the killer crab as a pillow. You splash water on your face. Dwight and Claudette. You know it's your stomach. You've been infected with zombie butterflies. Oh no. It's time. All the killers stand flanked by two good sources. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate wretch with your ex. Suddenly the message is clear. You're going to declare your affections for a killer in front of several other killers. Hayes and Trixus are supposed to be here. We paid him to make good cameos in this show. I'm going to chew his agent out. Before they walk over. I wondered whether this was a possibility. I thought maybe this is... I don't think we haven't noticed how kind you've been to us, Taff. It can't be easy being thrown onto the mysterious island with no real reason, surrounded by terrifying killers, trying to manage your primal urges. Murder and making out! You've kept such a cool head and treated us, your friendly island hosts, with dignity and respect. So don't tell anyone we told you this, but... Claudette and Dwight look around conspiratorially. Just a little hint going forward. Don't try and go all the way with a killer who isn't into you. Relationships are two-way streets, and if you don't have a green light in the other direction, you might end up in the friend zone. The friend zone? That doesn't sound so bad. Uh, where do you think you are exactly? Dead by daylight doesn't do friends. They're killers and they're survivors, and I'm afraid we can't say more. Uh, okay, so who's into me? Claude and Dwight and Dwight look around. Well, seen the sparks flying between you and Huntress. I thought we were going to get a Dwight and Claudette romance. That we were going to be able to... To romance Dwight and Claudette then. You make your way to the row of hotties. It's been quite the 48 hours, but there's literally sparks in the air. And I'm just talking about this rusty chainsaw. But I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for our new newcomer to confess their love. Wait, I have to do a drum roll for this. No, you don't, but do cares. Taff, who do you choose for your solo date? Come here at least to the flower thing? Dwight, I thought we agreed to keep that between us. No, not that. That flower thing? Then when a suitor gets a flower is a symbol of the contestant's love or affection. Oh, right, but uh, no roses. They're such a cliche. Well, that's good because I tried to pick a rose, but I got an ouchie, so I settled for these. Beautiful. You've done good. This is lovely to bouquet. I hope Dwight saved that. You, first Claudette, they're a thing. You're getting that vibe? Dwight and Claudette are a thing. Taff, who do you select as we see these flowers and spend the day with you? So, the, the bet was, who do we end up with, right? A lot of people thought Trapper. Turn to Huntress, she's never looked more appealing. She's wearing the same thing she's been wearing every other day. A seagull lands on her shoulder. She snaps the seagull and stuffs it under her dress. Probably to save her lunch. She can't help but hunt. Huntress, I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we think a future is possible for us. Me? Really? She throws her arms up in, like a bear and gallops towards you. 
At first, she thinks she might take a swipe at you with the gigantic hands and knock the life out of you. Instead, she scoops you up into a hug and takes your place by your side. She points her tongue out at the other killers. Sometimes the immature move is the best one. It's sure to be a fun day. We'll just be here, not getting to participate in those survivors matter too. Yeah, just Cordette and I hanging out. No one's competing for our love. Wondering what we did in a past life to end up embroiled in this misery. But go, have a blast. Huntress leads you to the yacht to begin your day together. Salty air on your skin. This is perfect morning. Hey, cuties. Ocean's here. Did you know that I'm teaming with flesh-eating bacteria and dead bodies? Pesky ocean kills the vibes. Are you sure you're okay here on the ocean? I know you don't like to be in the open. Something about being here with you makes me feel safe. You sit down at a beautifully set table. A widespread and mouth-watering breakfast goodies are arranged. Can we get you anything? Uh, you look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. Why is Huntress now Borat? Um, Huntress has always been Russian wife. Which is, hello, I'm Russian wife. Some people say it sounds like Borat, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound anything like Borat. Hello, I'm Russian wife. I'm your wife. Hello, I am a huntress. It's the voice we've always done. Very nice. Tricks have replaced all the young. Wait, when they're on a the beach? We'll both take a screwdriver, hold the orange juice. Of course. Uh, hey, can you play this particular song for us? Set the mood. You hand twice a piece of paper with a song title written on it. I'm sure that uh, Doug Trapper has it in his vinyl collection. <gasps> we're playing... We're playing an old Russian lullaby. The boat rocks. Breakfast has never been this intimate. We reach... It's Trapper. He screamed at us from the beach. Look how tiny he looks from out here. And just squishes his head. Damn you both! Those chairs you're sitting in are worth more than your lives! Get back here. He's not wrong. Claudette, take us out further. Aye, aye, Captain. Could she drive a boat? Guess we'll find out! Alone again, nothing but the core of us. A seagull in the ominous shadow of a creature beneath the waves. I have something for you. For me? It's... I, I made the mask. Here you go. <gasps> it's perfect. You put it on, it fits like a face glove. You stare at her between the eyes of the mask. The mask is on your face. You can't be as creeped out as everyone else. Let's go back to my place. She downs a screwdriver. The tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You could cut it with a hatchet. Give me a break. It's day three of color jokes. Andrew sits you down. There's blood, cre there's blood stains everywhere. What creature died on this table? Why do you care if they suffered? Get back in the ocean. Stay here. Don't move a muscle or I hear it. I can hear a mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift and a curse. I'll be right back. Alone in the cabin, what to do? No. Not freak out. But not tidy up. She told me not to move. Tidy up. <sighs> clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. You expect a flock of birds come in. They don't. Plus she probably kills all the adorable birds and mouse. Oh no, this is awful. You lay a blanket in front of the fireplace. You certainly not imagining the naughty things. What's that in her strong yet delicate hand? You reach out for a long stroke of blood matted hair and scrunch her shoulders. She's gonna kill us. She's gonna kill us. I thought we could get warm by the fire. She's gonna kill us. She wags a finger at you. 
Not so fast! I have a favor to ask. The other killer stole some of my things. I think they're jealous of my collection. They're so petty. We're talking some of my favorite things. Things that have special meaning to me. To this island. Sausage, don't get me worried. We do prey on innocent victims for a living. But I still don't want my stuff back. Just go with the flow. They'll freak out if they try to catch me stealing my stuff back. I was thinking you could be the one and went and got it back for you. I hate this Russian accent. I had to add permitted term. I hate this Russian then. Because Sausage, the mod, the mod bot thought that you were being racist. I'll follow close in case something happens. Ah, oh, this is going to be bad. Are we going to have skill checks? What do you say? How oh dare those monsters? Of course I'll help you. A globe-tropping treasure hunt? Like a... Like a Nicolas Cage movie. You can count me in. Let's go. I'll be a guardian angel. Oh, no. It's going to be skill checks, isn't it? Right. We need to... We need to... We need to nail these. Fuck me. There are four killers. Which one will you investigate? Uh... Trapper first. There are two ways to get in. She only giggles and shrugs. Through the forest or through the underground tunnel? Underground tunnel feels like a lot. That's a small space. So there's traps. Through the forest, it feels like you can get through. But then it's easier to hide traps in the forest. Yeah, the surface. It wouldn't be DBD without some tunneling. This is Huntress's domain. You stepped in one of my bear traps. I swore I'd get it with. I've seen a lot of trap down no! I'll be honest, I didn't like either of those options. We, we have to... We have to... We have to p pick the prediction. I said... We have to pick the prediction as a... As an other nun, right? We'll decide at the end. We're going to pick all the same options that we picked before. I can't believe we died. So just hold it down. It, it doesn't seem like forest made sense that the traps would be there, but so does underground. Dimly lit trap must be rife with traps. Make ourselves along. I got this, you're doing great. Not at all afraid. Who, me? No, nah, I gotta say, this is amongst the nicest damp and abandoned tunnels I've ever walked through. Okay. So we got into the cave. Let's get this over with. We see Trapper. I, 
I knew you'd come. Trapper, get out of our way or I'll screw you and serve you for lunch. You're wasting your time. You'll never find what you're looking for. And that you're looking for is a mini game. Fuck's sake. One. Two. That count? Two. Three. Four. Five. Fuck, these are not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We found a lost shiny object. Later, trapper, you thieving perv. Next place. It's just a pen. It's just a pen. Okay, spit it. All right, let's think about this again. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful? So you're telling me your precious shiny thing is up there? It's pretty great, huh? A chance to activate these quads. You don't get legs like this from standing still. You already know I love a good... But you already know I love a good workout. Running, climbing, roughhousing. Get that damn shiny thing before you're in a miserable horniness melt your brain. Yeah, I called it out. It's every, obvious to everyone. So shall we? Inside your light lighthouse is so dark you can barely see the step. But that's okay. You've got about a hundred stairs. Something about this gloomy place wearing you out and messing with your otherwise happy horny aura. You can feel your mood going down, down, down as you climb higher. Or you arrive at the top. Spirit. Spirit, you're looking pleased with it yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm getting in my hang of this being dead thing. Did you get sadder the closer you got to the top of the tower? That was me, baby. I gotta share this wealth, and by wealth, I mean desire. Uh, I don't know what the word was. I forgot. Despair. Uh, you're probably here for one of your precious shiny Ooh. things. Thank you for the raid. Hello, Llama. What a lovely raid. Hello, Llama. You've joined us as we're doing um, Dead by Daylight dating. We're trying to date Huntress. We're near the end of the game, I think. We have been s mostly successful. We died once. Um, what were you What were you playing? I knew I was going to say just chat. Did, you, did I see you on Rust earlier? I think I saw you on Rust. Were you rebuilding your base? Llama's, Llama's base got raided last night. Um... I did try to give them a heads up as soon as I saw. Um, I did make sure to write down the coordinates, though. Date Huntress so hard. Hold on, ads. Sorry about the ads. I'm I'm sorry about the ads, all three of them. Ad, ad, and ad. <laughs> Hi, Damella. Vicious attack on Llama's base. It was horrible. I'll be over here reading if you need me. You'll have to bear with my voice acting. Um, Spirit is a... Valley girl. If I get perfect skill checks for the new viewers. Oh, and I, I have to do my own voice. So, this is my impression of me. Let's find this shiny thing. Anything to brighten the mood in here. Don't miss the treasure. This is a treasure hunt. Not a treasure miss. Ready. Wait. Right. One. That was not bad. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Yes. Oh, they relocated. Thanks, Hereford. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was awful. You're yeah, really going a long way to prove your dedication to me. You know I noticed, right? I can see a raccoon lick itself from 300 yards away in pitch darkness. I definitely see you working that little butt off for me. There you go. Uh, yeah, the um, we've always done Huntress's voices. Russian wife. Uh, hey, no, stop. Spirit doesn't even look up. 
I think it'll be okay if you just peace out. They have four killers, so we've done we've done two. So we'll go to tricksters. Fucking hell, I'm less into Huntress now. I apologize for the question, but it's relevant to Llama's stream. Is it going to be, would I rather swim in a swimming pool of warm piss or... <laughs> you arrive at Trixer stage, but there's no one here. Not Trixer, not an audience, not anybody. Nothing here than an empty concert venue. Think of all that fringe that once stayed here. The beers that sloshed. Mosh pits, tall guys standing in front of you for the entire show. Lifelong friendships that actually only last in one summer. Uh, my concerts are always an experience. You should really come to one of my after parties sometimes. They're a real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. I prefer acoustic ballet music. Trickster? I've never listened to your music, and I think sampling sounds of people's screams is very been there, done that. Hey, no one talks to the trickster like that. Now how do you know about my samples? Somebody's obviously a much bigger fan than they're letting on. Show me where Antress's shiny mysterious object is, or I'll wipe that grin off your face with a chloroform-drenched rag. Oh, way to harsh my mellow. Deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it, because it's my commentary on a shallow society, and I make it look sexy as hell. Your thingamajig is that away. Trixer backs away and starts practicing an intricate dance routine. Russian, Russian Maya. Hello. The way you stood up to that bootleg Backstreet Boy was just wow. If I wasn't so strong and stable on my feet, I'd swoon. But it wouldn't be believable. Who's Taff opening to end up with? We went into this. Looking at... I I was just choosing the options that I thought was right. But then we've we've ended up full on. This, I think, is the final day. And we're pushing for Hendris. Find me my shiny thing, champion. Perfect. Two. Three. Four. Fuck yes! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. Yeah, she did reveal she likes tea, she likes dogs, and she would like to have kids. So, pretty much ideal. Your ability to find the unfindable is uncanny. A natural hunt, I must say. Do you think I might be able to find your art? I'd hope so. It's very important to locate and remove all the internal organs of your prey as soon as you foil them so their meat doesn't spoil. Oh, that's one of Trapper's coins. Trapper gave us one of those coins earlier. Okay, wraiths. Uh, right. There are items and elements from all over the world, and it's a mess, but it's a special place. The air you breathe makes you feel like you're part of something much, much larger. I'm going to handle some lunch while you find the object. You'll know it when you see it because it's extremely shiny. Ah, how long have you been standing there? Uh, are we ever really there? I don't have time for your existential crisis today, Wraith. Entress and I are gonna get it on soon, I think. I hope. Look, I need to find a special object you have hidden here. You stole it from Entress and she knows it. So you're trying to figure this whole thing out too? Check this out. Bit of a subject change, but sure, it's Wraith we're dealing with here. Wraith leads you to a telescope. Through it, you can see a far off island. Holy smokes, is that... Sorry, I have no idea what that is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. Where all the coolest killers from intellectual properties that were legally not allowed to mention by name hang out and party with Hollywood celebs and Silicon Valley moguls. So I like that they just kind of hint in that there's an island where it's like Michael Myers, Freddy, you know, who wouldn't want to date 
daddy pyramid head. That's not even it. Zoom in over there. <laughs> Is that ghost face? I said not to name them. Oh God, I'm gonna have to clear the rights. You have no idea how much my lawyer charges by the moment. I'm sorry, it just kind of popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy is going on over there. I'll have you know, I wasn't trying to steal anything. I was just looking for answers, but uh, also occasionally losing answers. That's right, the thing you're looking for, I can't find it, so good luck, I guess. Right. That was... That was alright. That was alright. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Nailed it. Sorry, um, my my phone has just started popping off, and I'm just trying to work out why. You see an old pair of glasses and grab them. You found it. So shiny. I knew I could count you. I knew I could. Fresh and wife. Fresh and wife. Fresh and wife. Hey. Hello. I knew I could count on you, Tav. That's saying something because I literally never learned to count via any traditional system of numbers. Let's get out of here. Looks like Dwight's glasses. You spend a moment imagining Huntress with glasses. Would you wear them over the mask or under? Uh, that's not some junk. That's my reading glasses. I just subscribed to Highlights. No idea what Highlights is. Think of Borat and you'll have the voice. Phew, that was fun and scary. You could see that the killers are taking their heartbreak and stride more or less. You want to tour of some of the island's lesser known haunts? We make a pretty good team, you and I. What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now that yours is back in order, maybe we head him back inside to appreciate it. And you collect a certain other special gift I've been looking to give you. A special gift? Is it shiny? There's there's new people here. Um, You know, I... There's things I could say. I suppose it could be if you oil it up enough. I'm gonna be ill. When you enter the cabin, it's dark, barely lit, but deep shadows stretch from wall to wall. Sometimes it manages to be terrifying, but also a little romantic. But you barely even notice. You've got other things on your mind. You're practically undressing each other as you walk through the door. Mine's elsewhere. Neither of you realize the door was wide open. No. Trapper's in there. Trapper's in there. Trapper's in there. It's going to kill me. Trapper's in there. You're incredible. Every time you find one of my objects, the heart beat faster and faster. Your nimble hands. Is there anything they can't find? Firepies is cackling. The heart is pounding. The smell of cinnamon is in the area. But wait. Who is that? Who is that? And just puts a beach cover back on. Mother? An older Russian woman. Hello, Huntress's mother. May I say that's a cracking blouse that you've got on. She turns to you in shock to see she comes from a different time in history. That thing can you blur out. What an honor. What an honor. It's you. I can't believe this. You're the Mama Huntress. I've been dying to meet you. Well, nearly. Can I help you with anything? Glass of vodka? A hatchet for revenge on the elk who got you? Oh, no, my child. I am... I am quite content. Just happy to know that my little darling is taken care of. I'm doing, like, the low, low voice. I'm doing a low, low voice, aren't I? That's French. And just chuckles nervously. 
Hi, Mama. Claudette and Dwight. No, she's not. She's not also Borat. Claudette and Dwight bursting like they're on pumpkin. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting this date to include me and little mom. What? Hey, uh, Huntress, how do you feel about your dear old mama coming in to interrupt your date? Huntress throws a hatchet directly at the two survivors. Discover your way. Good, good. Wait, the, she needs to be... She needs to be um, Ivan Drago. If he dies, he dies. Good girl. Huntress turns to you. I hope this is all right. Of course it's okay. We could still bang the three of us. No, we can't say that. Of course it's okay. I give great parent. And just breathe a sigh of relief. It's just not the mood I thought we were coming back to, but I'm here now. I'm into it. I'm ready to meet your mama. Thank goodness, because my mother is the only, I mean, most important person in my life. We Russians invented tea. Did you know that? Mama Huntress shoves a cup of tea. Did you drink? Here it comes warm. Yeah, Huntress and her mother sit by the fire. Mama picks out some old-timey pictures of young Huntress. Black and white holding bloodied animal corpses with a chilling dead stare. You all laugh and meet red meat. It's like you're back home. You've forgotten you're not on a, you're on a cursed island atop what is some sort of hellmouth. Look, that's not official law. I just call it like I see it. Every so often, Mama Huntress clutches her stomach and eyes, staring into the middle distance. She met the sounds like reliving the moment she was skewered by an elk. Very grim. I like you. Thank you for indulging me in my Tian stories. So tell me what your intentions are with my Tiank. That means bunny, but you already guessed that, didn't you? Well, by now you've got to translate the app. Start a family together. All that's on my mind is family. To forge our own forest dwelling with a brood of half a dozen at least, hunting side by side. Mama man just smiles. She reaches into her bloody cloak and pulls out a handkerchief. For you. The only one worthy of my Anna. Use it to clean your hatchet of viscera. I'll be cleaning my hatchet of viscera later if all goes to plan. Do you get it, guys? Do you, <laughs> Do you get it, guys? I'll be cleaning my hatchet of viscera if all goes according to plan. I'll be cleaning my hatchet of viscera. If all goes to plan, I'll be cleaning my hatchet of viscera. <laughs> I'll take good care of this. You point to Huntress. Her, on the other hand, she can take care of herself. God, fucking dropped a bomb on me. It said the Dr. Horrible the Hammer is my penis joke. That's the side and saw Taskmaster face on the... All I have thought is, is WWS Viscera. My time on this plane is coming to an end. The weird magic from the ghost girl's black lighthouse won't keep me here forever. Oh, I don't want to get into the logic of this, but the black lighthouse can bring up ghosts to life. It was... This is my life. It was spirit who brought you back. I'll have to thank her. And just mama begins to fade and just cries. You can picture her at six years old lying over her mother's dead body. I fully support this union. I feel good leaving my daughter on this cruel earth with you. You share a meaningful look with the mother of your beloved. Mama Huntress fades away, leaving you and Huntress alone again. Not a second later, Claudette and Dwight storm back in. Never alone for too long on this island. It's time for a dramatic scene between the lovers. Should we adjourn to the forest cleaning for ambiance? You and Huntress stand, hold hands. Dwight and Claudette watch your interactions closely, too closely. She's gonna kill me. Hey, I loved hanging with you. I think it's time. Time? Time for, oh my, okay, okay, I'm ready for this. Time for you to call me my real name. This is actually really fucking sweet. And I'm doing a Borat voice. I'm not doing a Borat voice. It's, just to be clear, if, Sasha Baron Cohen was watching. This is my original Russian wife voice. Time for you to call me by my real name. Like my mother does. Will you call me Anna? Oh, that. Yes, of course. I think Anna's a beautiful name. And you're a beautiful person, Anna. 
Taff. You know what I'd like to do with you right now? Beneath the moonlight. I'm feeling closer to you than uh, ever before, and there's nothing I'd rather do now than... She averts her eyes. She's looking at Dwight and Coldhead. She... Chop up these two fools with you! Absolutely. My hat. My hatchet is as sharp as my love for you. Let's get bloody. It's a gruesome scene as you go to town on these innocent survivors. We just wanted to help you guys out. We were being forced to help you. Can't hear you, hun. On the account of the congealing blood in your mouth. Ah! Once you make quite a mess of the survivors, you and the huntress look at each other with manic eyes. Shall we, uh... So we return to the cabin? I'd love to get you out to that beach way and into something a little more... Less there. Don't you never ask? Once inside the cabin, the hunter spits off her caftan, revealing every curvature of her muscle bod. Wait, 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 wait. You follow her lead, disrobing for the first time. Wait, can we do this? been such a while it's been such a while since we've got the right <laughs> here we go let's move the mic out the way a sec right I think we need to go Now, get. We need to increase. Probably, probably increase it a little bit. Get this nice. This is big. A bit bigger. Oh, we need we need the chair gone. Wait, I'll have to sit back in the chair. <laughs> Hi Llama um, I hear you were talking shit about me <laughs> There you go um, Hey Nona How you do This is what you get This is what you get Right, we have to fix everything now. That's easy. That's fixed. <laughs> I worry sometimes. You follow a lead just roaming for the first time since waking up here on the island. Yeah, you've been sleeping in your cl clothes. No judgment. It's a strange new place. You kiss. And yes, if you were wondering, it looks like she's going to keep the bunny mask on for this sexy time. I think the bunny mask looks good. This is the part where I skedaddle. Decapitation, sure. Tiger Mullins, love it. Dudes crushing other dudes in car crushes? Gotta have it. But hanky panky? That I can't handle. I'll leave you horny kids to it. <laughs> Je ne more. Que c'est beau. Just because Huntress speaks Russian doesn't mean I I do. I speak Canadian French. It's a thing. Wait, Brad! Brad Damon was the narrator this whole time. Am I nervously running my mouth now? Just give you two time alone in the dark? Maybe. Look at, look at that as well. Disappeared. <laughs> uh, stop me if you've heard this one before A hillbilly, a doctor and a clown walk into a bar Fine, we'll get back to it Post doing it You and Huntress lie together Thank you, uh, Sausage and Boothie they'll, they'll de That'll definitely be the clip that goes on Twitter later, right? Everything's perfect Imagine Mama Huntress smiling at you You realise it's pretty gross having just watched all of that And you tried to stop thinking about it That my wife, that was incredible. You're telling me? Door to the cabin creaks open. Cover yourself with a blanket. A severed arm claws its way through. No. No, wait. Why am I talking like 
No, we walked into a scene from a horror film. As soon as people have sex, they die. Not when I'm around. She gets a hatchet out of nowhere. Was that in bed with you guys? The wriggling torsos of Dwight and Claudette follow their chopped up limbs. Slowly they put themselves back together. No way. What the fuck indeed? You thought this island would let us die permanently? Haven't you ever played Dead by Daylight? Come on, we have to get to the final scene. I mean decision. I mean the final decision. Freshly laid, like some kind of laundry detergent. A strange quiet. No sarcastic remarks, disguising a broken young woman from spirit. No strange wide-eyed stare from socially awkward rape. No threats of violence from Trapper. Even Claudette and Dwight, Dwight are tight-lipped. They seem like zombified. Are you saying death is not an escape? Last day, you beautiful piece of meat. You've done so well. We're almost at the finishing line. You didn't think I brought you all this way without a plan. What kind of sinister bottle of salt water do you think I am? A whoosh of dark energy surrounds you and disappears as quickly as it came. The idle noises begin to return. Birds chirp in their trees, the grass rustles in the light breeze, and lo, oh, look, the other colors are here. I can't wait any longer. The pomp and circumstance is annoying, agonizing. Pomp and circumstance. What does that make you think of, Boothy? Da, da. You're telling me. Stick to the script, Claudette. Okay, so Huntress, how do you feel about the newcomer? Were they everything your murderous little heart has ever longed for? And just stares you down. Shep towards you. M my dear, I think this is true love. Come with me to the Red Forest. Let's hunt the woods together and have a family bursting with babies. We'll raise them as fierce warriors who can defend their family and home. In just a few, a few days, you've gone from being completely alone to being the start of a clan of warriors. I didn't see that coming. Wraith starts a slow cap. No one joins in. Uh, whatever. Love is a concept made up of the greeting card industry. I'm out of here. Spirit floats back to her warehouse. Oh, trap is behind you. Huntress, you bested me. Oh, did I just hit one of my keys? He offers you his leathery hand for a handshake. Congratulations, Taff. <laughs> I don't shake hands with losers. Trapper's eyebrows shoot up. Then he smiles. Didn't see that coming. You're all right, kid. I mean, I hate you completely. I want to kill you mercilessly. But you're all right. But you haven't said anything to Andres. And I love you too. Let's move to the... Let's move to the Red Forest immediately. Is 12 kids too many? Maybe in this economy, but who cares? 12 kids may not be too many, but you know what is too many? 100 kids. And you can see Ad 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 do the 100 kids challenge on Sims if you just follow him. Why not click that link and follow Ad Ad Ad? Okay, Taff, stay cool. Stay cool. Do you know who's just followed? Don't know who's just followed. Don't, don't fanboy out. I'm not gonna fanboy. Okay. Let's Dennis. Le Denis, the French fire engine. That's one of my favorite jokes from Vic and Bob. Hello, Les. Your heart is overflowing with joy as you and Huntress embrace. Is this what you've been missing your whole life? A woman with shoulders the size of mountains who won't take off her bunny mask during intimate times? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Llama, thank you, friend, and the tea giveaway. Um, we had a salted caramel le, 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 bruken? le bruken? It's like a, like the German biscuit. The, it's really nice tea. Um, I got a bunch of teas that sat on my desk. Right I've also, I've put some into cold brew. So, this tea... Like a stroop waffle, yeah. Uh, this tea is cold brewing for tomorrow. So this is a um, mascarpone and sweet cherry. Uh, so mascarpone and sour cherry oolong tea. Um, but I've done it in uh, cream soda. So I'm going to leave this until tomorrow lunchtime. I'll give it a bit of a... shake up now just to loosen all the leaves but already it's gone such a rich red 
so with with this it's completely um completely cold i literally did it just about an hour before the stream tonight so you can see because it's an oolong tea some of the leaves you can just about see like some of the leaves are unfurling it already smells delicious But that's um that's gonna stay in the in the fridge overnight. And and if you do want to check out Bird and Blend's tea, there you go. Your heart is overflowing with joys, even huntress embraces that we've been missing your whole life. A woman with shoulders the size of mountains that won't take off her bunny mask even during intimate times. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You stay into the sunset and picture your life together. Happiness is real. Huntress lifts her mask and you finally lay your eyes on her natural, breathtaking natural beauty. You know, the cabin I grew up in doesn't have the amenities that my luxurious new beach house has. I'm used to living as a beast, bathing in the river, running wild in the bushes. I'll tell you this, Huntress has left a bathing suit behind and entered the jungle. You haven't lived till you've been one with nature. Rawr. You chase Andrews into the woods, leaving your own bathing suit behind. Well, we, I, I think we successfully went to the bone zone there. <laughs> I don't want to say the words bone zone, but I think we went to the bone zone. I think that's the only way to sum it up. Beautiful. Um... I think I think I think that was us. The problem is now the bear. So we ended up with Huntress, but we did die. So what's the best way of doing this? Is this like when you say it's crime time but different? Look, in in this in this stream, we have certain we have certain things. Huntress one, are you calling it Huntress? It wasn't a bet for the We're calling it for Huntress. We'll call it for Huntress. I can I can actually see some details here of, of who bet. Who bet on uh Huntress? Benjo put five grand on it. Cody and Ninvi. Jedi put um, a grand on Spirit. Shunt put two grand on um, Wraith. And I'll put six grand on Trapper. Choose outcome. Huntress. You had barely any points when you entered the stream. But do you know what? You have some points now. And, and the good thing is, on this channel... Um, you get to do a bunch of stuff with your points. You can make me fart. We'll, we'll give you some demos. <laughs> oh god, where's my demos? I actually don't have the demos. There you go. You can make me fart. Sorry about that. Uh, you can make me... Uh, you can drop a bomb on me. You can make me do a rap. Or What's up, guys? It's time to do a rhyme. You can enter. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's time to do a rhyme. Time for a drinky booze. Your time. 
tiny pin. It's the smallest one that Huntress ever has seen. Why do you close your eyes? Look at the screen. Oh, you think that chat is being mean? Then this is like, fuck you right back. Taff comes in with the second verse. Huntress, what do you mean? Why are you being fussy? Maybe the penis isn't small, but you've got a giant pussy. Oh no, did I say it? That was kind of wrong. I wish I could apologize, but don't take too long. Like in a YouTube video, I'd like to say sorry, but also here's my raid codes. And please don't worry about what you're saying. Please just end this rap because I'm starting to think that it was kind of crap. Just got cancelled. Brilliant. Brilliant I've just got cancelled. What a rap. Come on, chat. Give him some new rocks. Give him some new rocks, chat. Come on. I've just got cancelled. That's me over. That was um that was the stream. I was gonna say I'll play it again, but I can't I can't uh not with the voice. Too much voice in. Um Right, it's um Maybe maybe we finish there. We are gonna be doing a um Can you do your high low? You can. Yeah, fuck yeah, you can do your high low. What's up, guys? It's time for another edition of Taff's High or Low. And today's contestant, that's right, it's only that old static in the sky. Static, your first card is a five. Uh, question for you. Uh, what's the best thing that's happened to you this much? Ap apart from finding this. Apart from finding this stream. That is now the best. That's number one now. But what was Ninja Caden before that? suck that bad um ninja they said um they said uh what's the best thing that's happened to you this month apart from finding this stream because i i don't think anything's gonna top finding this stream like will anything top finding this stream for 500 bits i'll paint my nose green <laughs> What's up, guys? It's time for another edition of Taz Iolo! And today's contestant is uh, Static again. Static's queen. The, the dabs for luck. You got £50 of groceries for shopping for free? Oh, it's an ace. Ace is a low. Higher is a three. All diamonds so far. If you get two more diamonds, I'm gonna count it as a win. Higher. You can still do it, you still need to get two more cards though. I would have counted it because it would have been a flush. We don't we haven't got a flush before. Dun, dun. Lower? Oh, it was a 69! You've got out on a 69! Static! It's a sex number! We just played a sex game and there's a sex number! Yeah, you suck that bad! 
Be like, that deserves a win. Well, it's not, not your fucking game show, is it, Nona? <laughs> not your fucking game show, is it, Nona? <laughs> 69 should be an instant win. Well, it's not your fucking game show, is it, Boothy? Everyone wins with the 69? No, always. What if it's a threesome? Then that's just one person sat at the side. Nothing's going on. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think what we're going to do is I was going to go a bit further um, and play a little bit more. Um, like maybe jump on something like rust or something but we're not going to do that um because i don't want to i don't really want to jump on rust now it's tw it's 20 to midnight we are going to be streaming tomorrow at lunchtime we could do a quick game of four guys no we're not going to do it we, we're not we are we're going to do a quick game of four we're going to do a quick game of four guys fuck it quick cheeky singular game of four guys Cheeky cheeky game of four guys. Why not? Let's get let's get a little game of four guys on. Static got sixty nine. I appreciate the um the uh the the words i appreciate the the clips though thank you for the clips oh yeah the reminder for anyone who doesn't 300 channel points you can enter a bird and blend contest um you can win a 10 pound bird and blend voucher uh, i'm gonna take out that i'll send you tea because it ends up being a bit of a pain of an option um but yeah you can win a 10 pound bird and blend voucher I think the game is just loading up now. But if you don't know Bird and Blend, they're my very favorite tea contest a company. I have a massive collection of uh, their teas. And you know what? I'm going to say now, if we get a win, we'll play... We'll play three games. Right? If we get a win, I'll donate 50 quid to charity. Have we got a llama outfit? Is there a llama outfit? Can we, can we dress as a llama in tribute to llama? Has to be a llama outfit, right? Let's dress as Shere Khan. Fuck it, we're Shere Khan. See some suspicious spacemen? Might see some suspicious sp 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 suspicious spacemen. There's a llama outfit I didn't play when they offered it. Ah, they are looking at, they are rotating in some outfit. Uh, they are rotating in some old outfits and stuff. So it may come up again. Right. Come on. Um Jack actually uh Jack actually got a new uh Duplo set and there is a llama in there and it made me think of you llama and I was gonna take a picture of Ralph with it to say um Ralph's fin finally met Llama Ooh Taff, come on
gonna make this? Oh, this is dodgy. Oh, we got so lucky then. Oh, yes! He didn't do what he think, did think about it. It's because I took the picture that I posted on Twitter of Ralph with Rubble from um, Paw Patrol the same day. And I thought it'll look like I'm just, I'm just a one content thing. Of just Ralph with stuff. Which which is kinda true. Guy tried to do dirt, he only even reversed it. So it'll it'll be content for another day. I'll see if I can get Ralph to like have it hanging out of his jowl. Ralph's, uh, Ralph's been fun today. We were playing with his, um, he's got like these rings and we were throwing rings for him in the garden. And he's, he's so possessive. He won't like let go of something if he's got it. Like we had a dog trainer in once. And um, the first thing we asked the dog trainer was we were like, if we're playing like sticks and stuff, like if he, if Ralph has a stick, he will not give it back to us. Like, you literally have to swap it for something else. And that's the only way we can do it. And the guy was like, well, I'll show you a trick that will help you. And um, this trick will, you know, your dog will always give you back the stuff if you do this trick. Oh, these two guys are fucking each other. Um, And he was like, right, what you do is you wait until the, he's got it in his mouth. And then you hold both sides of it as close to his mouth as you can. And just hold it. Don't don't try and pull it off him. Don't give him any, like, kind of fun to it. Just hold him. Hold him each side of it. And we were like, okay. So he's like, I'll show you how to do it. So he, he gave something to Ralph. And then Ralph came over to him. And he held it either side. And he was like, look, I'll show you. You'll let go of it, like, you know, at most a minute. So he sat there for a minute. Ralph still got hold of it. The, the guy sat there and he's like, He's like, it, it probably won't take him long. He's just been a bit stubborn. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. And the guy finally goes, um, he will let go of this, but I think we should move on to like me showing you something else because we're going to run out of time because like I can't just spend the whole lesson showing you this. And I was like, I was like, mate, Ralph has fucking done you there. You've got no fucking chance. So yeah, tra trading is the only way with Ralph. But if if we genuinely tell him no, he'll usually drop something. He's a fucking great dog though. We had a bad starting position here. Oh, this is bad. Why did we do this? Okay, we're not great here, but we're not awful. Awful timing for us. Okay, this is going all right. This is going all right. I think we're f I think we're safe here. Risk it. Yes. Oh. 
Every dog is different and not every tactic is bound to work. Just find out what does. Yeah, but it's like this This guy was supposed to be a really, really good trainer. Like, I, not to fault him because a lot of the other stuff he told us worked. And, like, I put, like, some of the stuff that he told us, like, about introducing um, the baby to Ralph as well really helped. So one of the things he told us to do was um, Jack's first nappy from when he was born. So they put a nappy on him and then... They have their first bowel movement. Um, he told us to bring the first nappy home and give that, put that in the garden. Like, not open it or anything, but just let Ralph have a good sniff of it because it gets Ralph used to the smell a lot better because it's, like, kind of the first smell that the baby's made and it helps connect. And it, like, Ralph and Jack are best mates. Well, I think, I think Jack is... Jack loves Ralph. I'm not sure always how Ralph feels on the other side of it. Sometimes Jack pisses Ralph off. But that's okay. That's what brothers do. We've got to get nine people eliminated. So this is always a tough one. So I'm, I'm basically trying to stay at the front enough and hold people that if something hits, it hits someone else behind me as well. But that it hits me into them. This is basically... Um, I'm doing the llama grabbing tactic here. Still only four eliminated. Add uh, the, the lame grabbing technique. Okay, that was game one. That was game one. So what we get for slagging off Llama. It's what we deserve. It's what we deserve. Let's go with Froggy. We're going, we're going with the frog. Two more games. Frog, frog, frog. Um, I have, I've spoken to Rage. Um, we are going to try starting some of the streams at seven rather than eight. Um, so I'm probably going to test it first and see how it goes. Uh, reason being, because like, I, I find four hours is nice for a stream, but like sometimes you want to go a bit longer. So I think like doing seven till 11 allows me to go that bit longer if I want. One small four guys game is turned into three. I said three straight away. Plague, don't lick the frogs. You never lick the frogs. Don't lick the frogs. You should never lick a frog. It's, it's too much of a risk. Even Kermit. Don't lick Kermit. Come on, come on team. We're just powering through here. 
Come on, team. I think Phoebe would disagree there about licking the frogs. I'm going to just have a quick look at who is potentially on. Oh, there's there's an obvious raid. There's an obvious raid. A hacker still an issue in this game? Um, They were, but I don't think they are so much now. But I would also say, given that they've like just started doing all the... They've just introduced Xbox and they've got... There's probably going to be some stuff that comes up. I always found they were quite good at removing the hackers. Where are we starting? Right at the back. So this is a bad position because, like, people can basically really fucking ruin our play. So we've got kind of lucky here that we've kind of bumbled our way through a lot of this. We've done all right. We've done all right. We qualified. That's all that matters. I do like this game. It's it's one of those games. It's the same with DVD. I know DVD has its flaws, but it's just a fun game. And plus, it's one of those things that you wouldn't want to do like this kind of uh, this kind of thing in real life. Just don't start Phoebe on the old uh, Love Honey team up. I don't know if we make this. Fuck! No! No! This is awful. How many? 15. Twenty first to twenty one qualified. This could be the big win. Imagine 
Imagine not winning and then being like, oh, I don't donate to charity now. I don't need to donate to charity. That's going to be fucking horrible. I've got to get a win for the charity. Right, so there's there's multiple tails. We're starting with a tail. just tiered one bit. Thank you, Boothie. Fuck me. Fuck me. What a, what a jump then. Twenty one seconds ago. We got twenty one seconds ago. So if you like let me know in the studio. Which charity to go to? So, uh, Ninja, as every single penny this stream makes always goes to charity. So, whether that's through a bit subs, uh, we don't have a donation button, and uh, we have a donate, you can donate direct to the charity, um, or through my affiliation with Bird and Blend, I make money, a little bit of money from that. Um, I haven't had a payout from that yet. I've been storing the money in there. Uh, but anything that this stream generates, goes to charity anything when i say win a prize like the tea contest that comes from my pocket um it's all an incentive um so we change the charity usually every two to three months and uh, we try and stay with the charity this something relevant to what's happening at the time um so we've currently the narael because i believe every birth giving person should have a choice Jesus, they're taking out a large chunk. Um, so yeah, it's the NARAL. They are a uh, pro-choice charity who help support the rights of birth giving people. Oh, this is trouble now. Oh, we're just about okay here. Is there three left? People able to get pregnant. What did I say? Quite a dead zone. So we did it. Uh, so if I just get my charity link, birth giving people. Yeah, I, I am. Um, I said I said we do it. I said we do it. Uh, give now.
Um, so you'll notice as well, if you ever try and donate, we don't have gift aid turned on. Um, the reason being is because, um, oh shit, it won't let me do by PayPal. I've left my wallet downstairs, so I will do that. Um, note for myself. Unless it remembers my card. No, it doesn't remember my card. Just giving usually does, um... That's weird. Uh, there must be something down with the system. I will donate £50. I'll post a screenshot of that later. Um, we are definitely going over to raid one of my favourite streamers. Um, we will do that. I will send... I will put a screenshot of that on Twitter tomorrow. Thank you to the people who came in tonight. Boothy for the bitties. The mods who are in now. Uh, the new followers, Ninja Caden, Les Dennis, Nehe, uh, Terriblus. Uh, the new subs, Maz, Ruby, and Static, and the raids, lovely raids from Benjo and from Llama. Uh, if you're not already following Benjo and Llama, they are two people who, very different scales, um, but two people who I would very much recommend following. Um, Benjo, did you miss the Benjo song? You did. Uh, Llama, this is very, very chill streams um, compared to to the chaos that goes on my side sometimes uh, llama's a much more civilized person than me llama's a much more head together than me um go enjoy llama um or go and see benjo uh benjo obviously is a fucking beast at the dead by daylights um but yeah go and check them out we are gonna go over as you probably already seen to the lovely beth um what should we have our raid message be why don't we have it be um most of my streamers dominate by the phrase wet me La why don't we have it uh be uh what's beth is the most flirty person that i know in the entire world oh she's beth is finishing oh we were just literally about to <laughs> raid beth and she's finished. Oh, God. Okay, wait there. Let's look who's on instead. Beth, is, Beth would have been a wonderful raid as well, guys. You would have loved Beth. I would have loved to have shared, like, the, for, the, for the people who've not seen Beth, yeah, she's amazing. I think Beth has just raided into Meeple, who's playing Demon Souls, which is a bit of a different vibe. I think what we might do, uh, Reva's playing Rust, but like we did rave, raid Reva yesterday. Should we just raid Reva again? Let's raid Reva again. Let me let me just check that no one else is on Neutral Cafe. Um. We'll, we'll raid Reva. Hey, we try and we try and mix it up. Right, we'll just uh, we'll just do the standard Taff raid message. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Look, God, sack the streamer. <laughs> right, we're gonna raid over to Reva. Reva is wonderful. Uh, pronouns he they. Uh, make sure you get it right. Um, because I am an idiot and got it wrong last time I, um, well, not last time. I've, I didn't get it wrong recently. Uh, we're going to go over to Reva. Reva is currently, looks like they're getting up to mischief in Rust, as usual. And they've got drops enabled. So let's go over. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a lunchtime stream. We're going to be on at 12 o'clock. I don't know what we're doing. It's likely it could be Rust. It could be, um... The Australian game that's like Stardew begins with a D. Dinkle? Dinkle? Why do I want to say Dinkle? Dinkum. Dinkle is another word for penis. So, right, I'm going. Bye. Be good. And if you can't be good, use protection. Love you all. Bye.